Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Twit specials is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is a Twit Live special, episode 34, Apple's September 2010 event. Leo Laporte here with Alex Lindsay. Live coverage in just a moment of Apple's 2010 event. Usually an iPod announcement in September. We expect perhaps a whole lot more. Uh, thanks to our friends at Slingbox for bringing you breaking coverage of the world's most important tech news as it happens. Anytime you come across a breaking news item in tech, go to Twit Live to follow the story. And we will bring it to you. Uh, brought to you by our friends at Slingbox. You can use Slingbox to watch your favorite TV shows when you're away from home. And to learn more, check out a Slingbox at a Best Buy near you. You can find demo events at slingbox.com slash twit. Alex Lindsay's here. Andy Anaka will join us. You're so short, Alex. Have you slumped? I'm feeling a little short. I just sat slumped. Back. I can hear right. I'll lean forward. I'll lean <laughs> forward. There we go. We'll adjust the camera just a little bit. Andy Anaka will be joining us. Uh, in just a little bit, also uh, Tom Merritt for our coverage. But the most important story to begin before we begin uh, is that Apple's going to be streaming this themselves in about 20 minutes. It's uh, it's uh, 9.41 Pacific time right now at 10 a.m. Apple begins its live stream at apple.com. And this is the first time since, gosh, it's been a long time. I, ha I should check. I'm not I sure. I want to say almost 10 years. It seems like it's an I mean, awful long time. It hasn't been 10 years because we used to sit around and listen to the, to the streams um, long ago. So probably... Five or six years? Yeah, I used to done? love to watch that. And, yeah. You know, I think some people... Uh, are, it never worked. It never worked. I think some people uh, are saying, um, you know, oh, gosh, you must be upset that Apple is doing this uh, special coverage, you know. Um, I'm not. Absolutely not. I'm thrilled. Um, it, it may eat, eat into our audience a little bit, but it's about time. We, we want Apple to, uh, to stream live. Then we wouldn't have to. You well, know? it seems like the obvious thing to do when you're doing these events. Yeah, everybody else does it. We wonder, for a long time, I wonder why Apple... Didn't, especially given their desire to control. Well, I the think news. That, I think that one of the things though is that it takes some of the incentive away for a lot of the press to then go immediately report on it. You know, because there's a race when no one else gets to see it except for the press. Then there's a bit of a race to get your get the word out. Yeah, I think it's very undemocratic, frankly. I mean, Apple does put out the QuickTime right. version of it later. Um, my suspicion is so that they could edit it if they needed to, so they have absolute control over what right. the final product is. But what I think they've, it's twofold. I think, one, they have realized that they're, they've lost control of coverage because mm -hmm. you've got 100, and this was a problem, of course, with the MiFi's. You've got a lot of people, 100 journalists in there live blogging. Here comes uh, Tom Merritt. We'll get him uh, settled in here uh, to begin with. And uh, secondly, you've got people like me, jerks like me in the audience uh, streaming it. <laughs> With, and, their, with uh, their computer. With their computers. And <laughs> I invented it. But uh, <laughs> uh, so as a result, um, uh, I think that's one political motivation for Apple is, well, look, if it's going to get streamed anyway, we might as well do a high quality stream. But you have a technical reason you think Apple might be doing Well, this. I think that they may be, uh, you know, uh, stress testing. Uh, the, the rumor is, is that they're, they're going to be testing their, their server farm that they've been working on. And so uh, this is a great way to stress test it. It is a, um, you know, Apple is proposing some, uh, some new streaming standards, open standards, for the industry to use for this kind of uh, stuff. And they've been um, theoretically building something <laughs> in North Carolina. And so... Uh, Do you think this is an announcement that Apple will be making today? It may be related to it because, it, you know, if Apple's trying to sell the idea of streaming stuff to your iPhone, one of the things they're going to have to prove is that they can handle the, ki the kind of stress... That, um, that that kind of live cloud-based solution would require. Then why limit it to Apple products? Because, well... Not open it up to... Because, because they can't. Because they're the only ones using that standard right now. They want, they're proposing it as an open standard, but it's not an you open standard yet. You could use Safari on your Windows machine, though? You uh, cannot. It may you not You cannot. Be, you need... It, it, so yeah. what Apple has said, uh, and will remains to be seen if this is actually the case, is that you must be running Snow Leopard. Right. Right. Or iOS 3 or iOS 4 plus Safari. My guess is it's actually using stuff in the OS and they need to have absolute control over it. And what they don't want is a bunch of Windows folks complaining that it's not working. You know, they like they they want to you know they want you to have the optimum system to watch. Well, they're going to have a bunch of Windows co people complaining it's not working. Here's from they can't get it. If you go well, to well, Apple.com, they but 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 they're saying well we we told you it mean, wouldn't work. Yeah. You know and, and streaming uh, video requires Safari four or five 
on Mac OS X Snow Leopard or Safari on iOS 3 or later. In other words, that's it. There's some pretty, you know, what they're doing, uh, what they might be doing. No one really knows what they're doing. Right. But the, the thought is, is that there is um, some technologies that everybody's been working on, but, they, but Apple's been working on pretty uh, uh, diligently, is a, this dynamic streaming protocol that basically is constantly looking at the bandwidth um, that you that you have access to on your phone. Literally, you can walk from a Wi-Fi to 3G, and it just seamless. It doesn't stop. It doesn't buffer. It just seamlessly changes. Oh, now we're going to have to change your packets, you know. And it's constantly changing. So it's basically giving you access to three, four, or five streams of data, um, and just simply switching which one you're getting based on your bandwidth. And that is not obviously supported in all the devices that would be out there. It's something that Apple, uh, if that's what they're doing, that's something that Apple would need to. Um, you know, they're the only one, you know, they've been quietly working on this in the OS, you know, in the, you know, a lot of the other pieces. And I think that it's, they can only guarantee that it'll work with those, those uh, devices. Tom Merritt, welcome uh, to the show. We're glad you could come in early and do this. Tom is the host of Tech News Today, of course, on uh, Twit Live and uh, twit.tv slash TNT. An Apple user, as you can see, he's got a Mac right in front of him. Um, but also, uh, you know, a, uh, one of the best, I think, guys out there for covering this kind of uh, event. So we're really glad you could be here. Well, thanks. Andy Anako uh, will join us from a Chicago Hotel, providing he has bandwidth. Andy's got a little bit of a catch-22 because he wants to watch the stream, as we all do. Sure. Uh, but he also wants to talk to us. He may not be able to do both. So uh, just to, for your guys' benefit, what I'm going to do is you can put on your headphones. I will feed the uh, audio from the, We are not, I should just tell everybody we've been told we're not allowed to rebroadcast audio or video from the apple event. we asked right we did ask yep. this time we asked <laughs> uh, because it was said very clearly on the press release uh that no one had permission you know without permission you couldn't rebroadcast it and, and then follow, it said we follow the rules. contact pr if you have questions and we so did we thought, okay and we okay. called them and uh, they said absolutely not what are you nuts <laughs> so, i think it was uh, something like that i'll have to ask lisa but uh in in, couched in pr terms but basically mm, translated to yeah, not absolutely so not, not so much nuts. pr terms uh <clears throat> which is fine i that's i completely understand that so what we're going to do is we're going to listen and watch in the studio but we cannot rebroadcast that audio to you so if you want to and i would encourage you to watch apple stream do so at apple.com uh if you don't have enough bandwidth to do both our stream and apple stream the, uh, my suggestion to you would be to get the video of Apple Stream, which you could do at apple.com, and then you can use iTunes uh, or any IceCast-compatible player and go to twit.am and listen to our audio stream because there's not going to be a lot of pictures from us except you know, me sitting here scratching my head, Alex scratching his head, Tom scratching his beard. And, uh, and, that, and, that'll, that's and that'll be about it. So you can listen to our audio. Think of us as the Mystery Science Theater uh, 3000 crew in the right. background. We're the riff tracks for the Apple, riff tracks. the Apple announcement. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Darth Emma just uh, pointed out there's a, I don't know if you guys have talked about this al already, but there is a workaround if you're on Windows and you want to watch the uh, keynote. Apparently using the iPhone feed in VLC, which can transcode on the fly, mm. you can get around the problem. That's in theory. We don't know. Until it starts running. This is according to Mac rumors, exactly. We haven't tried it yet. Nobody knows. And I'm sure that while we are not rebroadcasting it, somebody will be. <laughs> yeah, you know, there'll be pirate streams on Ustream, I'm yeah. sure. Um, yeah. You know, it's very hard for Apple to prevent that. I think Apple is responding also uh, to the fact that they couldn't control what was coming out of the room. Yeah, they got had a couple, all these live bloggers. and Got a couple of people in the chat room saying they're they're seeing it. They're, they're trying it right now because there is a stream running at that. Is there a stream running yeah. right now? Okay. I, I, I didn't realize there was. I went there and I uh, didn't find anything. Um, what is... Huh, that's interesting. Oh, there's well, a, they're talking about a pirate stream, maybe? There's a Ustream. Yeah. It definitely will take a while. with but, Ustream. Yeah. <laughs> nobody, nobody doubts that. You can use Windows to watch Ustream. You yeah. don't have to do any special VLC thing. It definitely pours a lot of water on the folks who are just blogging what he said right no, the and apple, us the apple stream and us and I, and I acknowledge we'll, we'll have you know one tenth the audience that we would normally have everybody would be watching the apple stream but that's fine right because i think it's important uh, that apple do this well i'm, I'm thrilled that they're going to do it if you uh, decide you want to go watch the apple stream in about 15 minutes uh, when apple begins please be my guest uh and we will do a special mac break weekly immediately after steve leaves the stage and i would like you to tune back in for that that'll be our analysis of what all this means what are we going to see today alex Lindsay? do you have any idea um, I think they're going to release the iCar. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's going to be it's going to be shine roundy, a little harder edges than, than what it would have been in the past. No, I, I think I think that it's I think we it would be surprising if we do not see a update to the iPod Touch that has front and back facing cameras. 
Um, it would be reasonable to believe that we were going to see a new Nano with that, that single little screen and um, an update to the iOS 4 for the iPad. I think that's a reasonable, uh, not a given, but a reasonable. I think it's given that the iPod Touch will get upgraded. And then the things that are a little bit further on the outside edge are uh, whether we'll see uh, an iTV or an updated Apple TV um, uh, and uh, possibly, you know, and then what does that have? You know, does it have... Um, uh, a USB connection for, for a camera, for a FaceTime? Does the tiny little uh, box have a camera? Those are kind of some stuff that's floating around. But I think that, and then the, the other questions is really, you know, any changes to the, uh, you know, cloud-based um, server solutions uh, and uh, any kind of membership stuff that might happen. So I think those are the things that were kind of uh, on the plate, unless I missed anything. Did I miss anything? Certainly what's on the plate. What do you think the chances of an Apple TV announcement are? That's what, yeah, I, I'm curious about. 50, 60%. I, I mean, I think I put I, it around fifty-two yeah, because yeah. I, I think they this is a music announcement. Uh, right. They don't put a guitar on the invitation. Otherwise, there's all these rumors about them having last-minute negotiations. I don't see why they would announce something if they still haven't worked out deals when right. they can just have another press announcement later this month. Exactly. The, I, I think that if it's not solid, I mean, I, I think that I think that the the Apple upgrade is imminent. You know, the Apple TV or iTV is imminent. I don't know if they need to do it today. They. A lot of these things are so big, I don't think they want to shortchange any one of those items by just simply clumping them all together. They don't yeah, need to. They, can get, exactly. they can get all of us to show up again in two weeks. Exactly. You know, exactly. so. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I, and what about Gaming Center? We haven't seen that. Um, uh, it wouldn't fit with the, the they, have a, they have a big guitar up on stage right now, if you're watching right. the video stream, it just started. Uh, yeah. And so they're definitely emphasizing the music thing, but we haven't heard anything about Gaming Center. We haven't. We haven't. And I, you know, it'll be, uh, it'll be interesting. You know, I think that it is, you know, I was just talking to somebody that works at a game company and they just were talking about the incredible draw and the damage that it's doing to some of the higher end um, solutions uh, because, uh, you know, some, you know, the PS3s and the, and the higher end because people are playing, like I'm playing Angry Birds or whatever, you know, not playing th things that are relatively easy to write. Not that that's a very complex, you know, I don't want to yeah, put right. it down, but it's not the same as building Hard to win. It's very hard to elegant win. to code, elegant to code, hard to win, <laughs> and, and it and very funny. Yeah. So anyway, the um, but that Plants vs Zombies those represent a different style of game that require a, a tenth or a hundredth of the cost of some of these massive um, uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto type you know type games, and uh, and people are just that's kind of starting to take over. You know, people that's that that casual gaming is a big is becoming a bigger and bigger deal, and if you move that to the to the TV, I think that's going to be pretty interesting. So um, I'm worried, Tom, that we might not have enough uh, bandwidth for all of us to watch. So we are updating our uh, big screen over here. But until we do, uh, let me launch the uh, live event stream here, and I'll give you guys audio uh, from it if I can. Boy, well, it's not launching on the uh, on the iPad. There it is. Let me go full screen on this. Do you want me to so, switch mine off? Yeah, if you would. I'm just worried that we're not going to have enough bandwidth, and I'm, I will feed audio into your is headset. Is Toothpick on a different one? or a, it's, is, all the same. it's all the same, yeah. All right. I mean, you know what we do. You can keep watching as long as you want, but I'll, I'll, I'll put this up here. Well, yeah, if I've got it, it doesn't really yeah. matter. Um, you can position that as you, there we go. as you like. And I don't think anybody can see that except as a little tiny thing. I like the way they're uh, panning around the audience, and uh, they were f focusing in on someone's laptop over their shoulder. And it looked like somebody who might be uh, live blogging. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Was, that, that was kind of interesting. And they're using wireless, uh, wireless you, cameras. You guys, that that uh, right you guys in your headphones should be hearing. Yeah, I can hear the Alanis uh, Morissette. But I don't believe now that anybody uh, on the stream should hear anything. <laughs> so it's our stealth audio. Can, uh, can you verify that, that uh, nobody on the stream is hearing this uh, Alanis Morissette music in the background? Identify the song that Alanis Morissette is playing. If you can, well, <laughs> well you can I had it on originally. It at, I had it on can, originally. They could hear it at home, too. So. <laughs> no music now? Okay, they're, that's fine. The uh, chat room's uh, verifying that. So um, we're hearing it here in the studio, and I, I will try to control it for you guys. Well, I just got bumped into a new chat room, so uh, obviously we got some amount of well, Over a thousand people that's in our chat room. That's really great. I'm, I'm thrilled to hear that. Um, that means that uh, somebody's watching, and we. You know what I'm going to do is uh, uh, put up chat room comment comments uh, in this as well to give you a chance to uh, comment with us. We'll give you as much value add as we can over the uh, Apple stream. Can, 
Ken's comment was actually really interesting. Live, live. Uh, you guys can watch. Go ahead and watch on your iPads and stuff. I think it'll be all right if you're watching on the Comcast feed. I think we'll be all right. But live, live concerts. That's one use for it, absolutely. And YouTube's going to be doing that too. I'm pretty right. convinced they actually already have, haven't they? And they have a lot of bandwidth. Here's some cheering now coming from the stage. I'm not sure. Oh, maybe it's the song. It may have been live. Yeah, they like Eric Clapton. <laughs> or maybe it was a live track that was playing. Uh, the breaking news page needs to be put up if it's not already. Well, and if this is live, if these are live tracks, that would imply that maybe there's some sort of concert right. thing going on. They have that uh, ticket buying patent that uh, has been kicking around. There's been a yep. lot of speculation about whether they would get into you know partnering with the ticket master or somebody to well, and there's buy so many tickets over your iPhone and be able to use that to get into your concert. Yeah, and possibly be able to buy it and just watch it live. Yeah, you know, um, I mean, there's all kind. I mean, obviously, once you start getting into live streaming between sports and music and uh, seminars and conferences, and there's so many opportunities. So live music events or live event. I mean, I would just say li anything that needs to be live. Or new iPod Touch, new Nano, new Shuffle. I think the Shuffle goes away. No, I mean, that's one of their best selling devices. I don't think they'll change it. They just won't change it. It's they just, just like it's, it's a it. yeah iPhone shuffle. Well, it's like the iPod. Oh, who is this? I mean, the iPod itself, since they made it classic, they haven't really touched it. It's not going away. You know, and it's still useful because, you know, I, I have I have an iPod classic that has my entire music library on it and that we can just take on a trip and, you know, plug it into the thing and I can have, have all these playlists and, uh, you know, and so it's, it is useful in that, in that respect. I forget that they can't hear the Eric Clapton... Kick in my head. I was like, can oh, you stop plugging nice, Apple's feed? <laughs> nice background music. Uh, let me see if we can get uh, get uh, figure out a way to get the uh, double box on this particular setup here. Anybody out there uh, in the chat room using the VLC on Windows to uh, to do the stream? Confirm that 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 works. I'd be interested. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a use stream. will begin shortly. As a courtesy to our presenters and ladies other and gentlemen, of the audience, please take this moment to switch all. <laughs> Asking for people to turn off their cell phones. Thank you. And turn off your MiFi's. Don't be a big jerky they did, jerk. They, That's they, what they, they didn't say that though. It's interesting. They did not say turn off your MiFi's. No, they've they that'll they'll never make that mistake yeah, again. Yeah, that was kind of a kind of a mistake. So I'm going to turn off my electronic devices and uh, we're going to shut up. <laughs> Actually, we aren't going to shut up because those of you who are listening to our stream uh, are... Yeah, there is, in fact, already a Ustream uh, channel on here. There's a Ustream of a uh, screen capture of somebody using a Mac. Oh, that's good. Yeah. that's. I mean, it's, uh, it's simple. It doesn't get you off the hook, sorry. Well, it doesn't. <laughs> that's it, a rebroadcast. It, do, it doesn't... Yeah, you're still violating the terms, but yeah. how many hundreds of thousands of people could do that? They, they can't stop them, yeah. So well, let me try one more time, see if I can get Andy Anatko on the uh, on the line here. And he's going to join us from his hotel room in Chicago. We were trying to decide whether to fly Andy out or not. And I left it to Andy to decide, given the cost of it. I told Andy, um, come out if you think it will be worthwhile. Hint, hint. And he opted not to. He's like, what, hell what? no. <laughs> I'm going to sit in a hotel room and watch this stream live. I don't need he had a, a previous commitment to a Chicago user group, which he honored. And I really respect him for oh, doing that. And uh, we are pulling him up right now. I think there's no question we're going to see. I mean, it's obvious we're going to see new iPods. And I think there's, in my mind, very little question we'll see an iPod touch, the features uh, of Retina display. And, the person whom you're trying yeah. to reach. I don't think we'll see a new, uh, I don't think we'll see a new classic. I think we'll see a new Nano. And that's just based on some of those case leaks. Right. That uh, square that Nano. With yeah, yeah. A, a kind of a different connector that will ultimately go to a 30-pin connector. Do we need to keep updating him on the song selection? Do you think there's something to be parsed there? <laughs> no. Is there secret meaning in this Is Jack this one Johnson? live? Is it live? I don't know. I, this one does not sound live. Yeah. This sounds like the track, so yeah. yeah. DJ DJ Tom Merritt says it's Jack Johnson. <laughs> uh, I suspect that it, there, it, you know, I predicted, and I, and I think I, I have been borne out on this, that I, the FaceTime feature on the iPhone really is a non-starter. It's a great thing to promote and plug that front-facing camera, 
and everything. But because it only works on Wi-Fi, it really, to me, is not going to take off. And it, it only works on help. iPhone. And it only works on iPhone 4. So yeah. you have to have somebody with an iPhone 4 and Wi-Fi. However, you put it on an iPod Touch. Now nah, you've expanded the universe just a little bit. Um, Thanks, I'd like one of those, too. You don't have to do it. You're making some? Oh, no, I like it. It wasn't strong enough the first time. <laughs> it's fine. The, uh, Tom's from Missouri. He likes weak coffee. No, no, no. What they do is they brew coffee in Missouri. They brew it I'm, in a percolator. I'm from and Illinois, they... which means I'm too polite oh, to Illinois. say Oh, Illinois. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I think that I think that the base time uh, becomes a much, much bigger deal if you put it into an ITV and you have a front, you know, like a little USB camera connection that you could do. Uh, ah, yeah, so my grandma, TV. My, yeah, the grandma and grandpa. I mean, if, if I can, if I can, if I can, if, I can my, my, if my wife can use FaceTime to show our little kids to her to her parents, she will do that every day, every day. Right. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's the that's you know, getting it into the living room for you know, and getting it wider access. But I do think that with iPhone four only. Uh, on the cell phone only. That it was is, live. Is, it is more live. That was a live it performance. It was. Okay, yeah. That was a live applause. performance. There we go. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's a big, that's, you know, if you're going to read tea leaves. Right. That's that's a tea leaf to read. I want to apologize to Alex Lindsay with an E in Lindsay that I accidentally Twittered was covering this. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't gain too many untoward followers. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, keep the uh, chat room up on the screen. As you watch, so that you can. Uh... Thank you very much. Oh, that was for Steve. I, uh, so Steve is on stage now. Steve Wozniak. And Woz is in the uh, yeah, audience. They showed him earlier. That's fantastic. And he Woz acknowledged just, it. He just uh, celebrated his uh, 60th birthday at a surprise party at the Tech Museum, which is uh, is awesome. Well, thank you for coming. We got. Oh, some, well, you're welcome some for really having cool us, stuff Steve. To show you this morning. <laughs> and so I first wanted to start. That's not rebroadcasting. Uh, with a uh, update of Apple retail. This is the typical uh, uh, first uh, news about uh, uh, you know uh, how Apple's uh, doing. They're going to talk about their Apple stores. stores uh, Throw out lately. the numbers. And I wanted to just fill you in on three of them. Uh, is it okay to rebroadcast the numbers? Uh, do you think? Paris. Yes. It's our second store in Paris. Our first was. He's talking about the Paris store now. This is near the old Opera House. And it's this beautiful old building that we've restored and made a gorgeous store in. It's got a great skylight. And, Where is that? Uh, it's just a fantastic Paris. building. We spent oh, I'm going. 18 months restoring. I'm going to be there uh, in December. Week. You're is. going next week? I'll, take, I'll go there and take pictures. Uh, Please do. And it, it's just a fantastic store. And, and uh, we should get Patrick Beja Apple to users in Paris are loving it. So broadcast we're really live. excited about our new for Paris no reason. store. We're also Steve sounds a little hoarse today. About our second he store does. Sounds China, quite hoarse. Which we opened recently in Shanghai. China. Shanghai. All right, I'm going to read some more uh, tea leaves. He's hoarse because they rehearsed this so much. I think this is going to be a big announcement from Apple. I think this is one that they're really going to pay a lot of uh, attention to. And if it is, in fact, an ITV, it will be a monster announcement. They need to at this point. They need to... Google's going to do uh, it. Uh, Samsung had an announcement yesterday about putting out year. Samsung TVs yeah, with widgets. Uh, this is the time if Apple's well, going to play in this space. Amazon. They need to do it this month. The big question Amazon's is doing it. Yep. The they need to do it this month. The big question is whether they'll do it today. And here yep. it is with people in it. You think they have another uh, event later in the month? No, no. This is it. And, uh, the real problem for Apple, and I imagine there's been a lot of scrambling going on, is that they haven't been able to make deals with, as far as we can tell, with a movie and right. TV producers. So uh, you know they've got Disney, which gives them quite a bit, the third big but not anywhere near the universe they need uh, for this, for anything they're going to uh, do with rentals or streaming London, to work. Right. We the big stories have been that the they've got Rupert Murdoch on the fence. Right Possibly he Murdoch. He wants to do other deals with and Apple, and so he's thinking about agreeing right. to the 99 cent rental just so he can get in. To me, I wonder if that matters because uh, you've got Hulu Plus on iOS. If this is an iOS device, R if it's an iOS device, you don't need any. You don't need any partnerships. Yeah. No, but you want you want to you want to say. I think as an interim only. We've got the ability for you to stream them free over Hulu, mm -hmm. stream them with a subscription over Netflix, or get ninety nine cent rentals. Right. Every way you would want is right. available through Apple right. and not anybody right. else. Because that's the thing, one box that does everything you want. Right? Ultimately, though, the real appeal to me of an iOS device is that you can any any content creator can create an app, as we have, uh, and 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 Hulu has, and Netflix has, and ABC has. Well, and, and also, I mean, one of the other things is when you look at education, a thin client sitting on every desk, 
you know, that, that can be easily refreshed, you know, that, that can stream out content, uh, you know, I think outside now, of even the home. Remember when Macworld used to get 30,000 people coming to it? He's talking about Macworld. Ooh. Well, we've got single days in our stores now. He's saying that our stores <laughs> have more people in them than Macworld Not did. Day, a million a day. Paul Kent's going, well, oh. because they've got a lot of stores in 10 countries. I right. mean... It's not. It's apples and oranges. We're always full. I guess his point being, we, this is why we don't need Mac World. It's kind of a slap, we to be honest. One-on-one -on -one classes, especially to people that are new to Mac, and we are now uh, teaching eighty thousand of. Those they really one -one like their stores. That's what this part means. In our stores. Yeah. yeah. Well, and there'll be a second part. How well the iPod is doing. Yeah, we haven't got to the numbers yet, and that'll segue so into. That and now we're going to take our best-selling product, and we're going to update. And that's why we're very excited today. So that's a brief. Uh, we're setting we're setting the narrative because we have your undivided attention. But things are going well. Now, I want to talk about iOS. Oh, now iOS. We're talk about iOS. iOS is our operating system that powers uh, our mobile devices. Just where you iPad 4.1. I think so. I think we see iPad 4.1. In both touch and apps. Touch user interfaces were completely different before the iPhone. And mobile applications were completely different before Stream the iPhone. is apparently holding up very well, mobile. isn't it? And for us, it's, it's amazing. These three products it's looking possible. good on the iPad, the iPhone, yeah. the on Wi-Fi. And now the iPad. So how I mean, many iOS devices have When they stopped doing this before, it was, it was just a mess. Okay, our chat room saying the Apple Store is down. That's good news. Well, even if it's million. just new iPod Touches, 120 the Apple million down. iOS devices out there. That's remarkable. Remarkable. That's more than he had predicted in January. He said there'd be 100 million. People are throwing around a lot of numbers as to how many of their operating systems they're activating per day. Uh, we are He's talking about Google. Mm -hmm. yeah. a, a little day. over 230,000 iOS devices per day. Like that's, and that's shots straight at Android. new iOS so devices shots per day. Straight at Android. Upgrades in their numbers. If we counted upgrades in our numbers, they'd be way higher than 230,000. And then he's saying that they don't count upgrades in their numbers. Is just new activations. So Android's counting upgrades. So we, this is <laughs> this is absolutely aimed at uh, yeah. Google. And the App Store iOS apps over six and a half onto the app billion store apps six and a half billion apps, app apps downloads and that is 200 apps every second 200 apps a second we're actually getting a completely, this an faster but from very the, useless piece of we're getting this faster from the chat room than we are from Apple's stream I don't know how that's happening we must have somebody channeling well there's all kinds of delay on the internet so exactly. yeah certain people are probably getting it faster have been downloaded from the app store amazing We've got over 250,000 apps on the store. 250,000 apps in the store. 25,000 of them are now iPad apps. So 25,000 iPad, iPad specific like apps. Today, we're introducing oh. iOS 4.1. 4.1. There we go, the iOS 4.1. And it's got some really cool stuff. All we care about so is when it ships it at this point. But uh, there First will be... First of all, a lot of bugs have been fixed. Some features <laughs> that are not in 4.0. Bluetooth Proximity bugs, sensor bug fixed. iPhone 3G performance bugs. All the bugs. Performance. We get on the 3G. Don't usually that, talk was about a, bugs. that was a key issue is 3G on. performance. And we think you're going to be pretty the candor is unusual for Apple. Secondly, we've it's added a really chastened. cool thing called HDR photos. HDR photos. High dynamic range photos. Because into HD the is a great buzzword. That's going to be standard in iOS 4.1. Standard in iOS 4.1. The ability to upload HD video over Wi-Fi. HD YouTube, video over Wi-Fi, yep. Built into 4. To YouTube. Yeah. TV show rentals. TV show the rentals, there you go. Right into the, uh, into the iOS port. There's Game Center. For end users. Finally, all right. Be a pretty big deal too. So, let's start off. Huge upgrade. High dynamic range photos. What are so, high dynamic we're going to get a little demo now of the HDR. take a photo. It's not accurate, by the way. It should be called tone map. Photos. Yeah, because that right? you won't, yeah. or, or, unless it does multiple exposures. Yeah. Yeah. But even if it does, if it combines it back into a low, it's still going to be brought back to low out. dynamic. Yes, tone yeah. out. Yeah. By tapping on that button there. So the TV show rentals buzz could have been absolutely true and mean nothing about Apple TV. Right. It could just be the iOS. Be iOS 401. Yeah. That actually makes sense. Now, of course, any iTV will have 401 on it. And one that's overexposed. It's doing, I mean, it's really shooting in HDR. With some pretty sophisticated algorithms, 
to produce an HDR photo. It's pretty amazing. So to they're going to do just coming to the and phone. Phone and, and iPad, I would imagine. IPad, All iOS devices. Well, usually they're off by a version, like a point number. Well, we're behind now on the iPad, remember? Mm -hmm. Three, two. But it's really remarkable. We'll see. Yeah. I would guess it's for uh, all. All the pictures are showing an iPhone. Where you can see how HDR I'm mean, curious to see how well this works handheld. Because usually, you know, every pixel has to line up. So, you know, sometimes it'll work well and sometimes it won't. It's a strange thing to add since there are apps that do it now already. Or at least attempt to do it. It's a strange feature. Take a look at this one. I think it, you know, it, it adds a lot. It's going to add a lot of value. There's no other phone doing this. You know, most people, you're, if you're most really people at, just use your camera, though. So you want it built in. Yeah, I mean, it would be great. I mean, I would love to have my professional cameras do the HDR. Automatically. Do it, do it yeah. automatically. But I'd want the HDR. This is, this is not an HDR. This is tone mapped. Tone mapped. Pretty great. And, but uh, HD is such a good buzzword. <laughs> HDR is a big buzzword. Yeah, everyone, yeah absolutely. We've built in well, even people who don't know what HDR is. Yeah, exactly. Just, just using the H and the D. Yeah. For developers Game Center APIs for developers. Apps, and it's an app called Game Center. And an app called right Game on Center phone. on the phone. Game Center is all about multiplayer games. It's all about multiplayer. And it allows you to challenge your friends to multiplayer games, and they can challenge you. And if you don't have any friends, it'll auto match you with people. <laughs> if you don't have friends, it'll auto match you with friends. Boy, is he talking to the right crowd? And you can compare scores. <laughs> That's for the people who have an iPhone 4 and know their friends do. Friends are playing. So it's pretty nice. So as an example, uh, this is Thor, and Thor can. So now he's doing a game and, demo. Uh, and and Thor just Thor. now made a million dollars. Yeah. And Thor is one of uh, my 73 friends. Let's say. I've got oh, Thor is a person, friends. not a uh, game. And uh, I've got uh, 19 games that are multiplayer games. That 19 work multiplayer game games. Center, so I can take one of those games and, as an example, Angry Birds. I can uh, look Angry Birds everyone's demo. Everyone's favorite example. <laughs> Touching. Uh, I have to admit, I didn't play that until last night. And then I played I'm it for doing. an hour. So Oddly, I just got the invited, Thor unit in StarCraft 2 in campaign mode yesterday. Thor, Some kind of I'm synchronicity there. Up yeah. with Game Center with two other Thor's trademark Blizzard. They're not, they're not going to be too happy about this. I'm sure these companies uh, that uh, do their own Game Centers are going to be a little worried about this. Blizzard probably not so much since they do the big ranging right. Right. computer now, games. But the, yeah, anybody who's in the smaller do, game, and there's a those new flash, game there's tons of those flash sites. That we saw that's new really game he's talking about. From Epic Games. Epic. And it's, it's my great pleasure. Uh, Here comes somebody from stage, Epic. Mike Kapp, Epic? The president of Mike Cap, the president of Epic. He says game Epic. Using game center. Oh, I know, it's Epic. Thanks. I mean, Epic Games is the name. We don't know if the game is Epic or Duke not. Duke Nukem forever. We're really excited. Finally! I'm really thrilled to, here suit, to reveal our very first project at Epic for Apple mobile devices. Uh, it's powered by our award-winning Unreal Engine 3 game technology, Unreal. which powered countless hits for console, and of course our... Got the Unreal Engine. I just checked. To demonstrate, no, I want you to meet no update to the iPhone yet on the iTunes. Hi, everyone. We've ported Today Quake we're introducing to the a new game currently in development. It's codenamed... Project Sword. Project so Sword. Project Sword That's the code name. Action <laughs> and it's filled with epic sword battles. Epic sword battles. Everything that you're seeing is running in real time. This isn't a movie. And I'm so this is the Unreal Engine right ported now. to iOS, which is I'm pretty impressive. Yep. Not the state of the art, but enemies. about what about as good as you'd expect well, for a no, phone. Porting an Unreal Engine is the hello world of porting. Right, right. right. Yeah, it is. You're right. Absolutely. It should be. Take a look at this place. Right. This is a gorgeous wow. 3D world, and it's filled with intricate levels yeah. of detail that you just don't expect to see on a phone. The chat man so says, "My jaw is nowhere near the so floor." Dozens <laughs> of unique achievements to unlock. We've got worldwide leaderboards, so you can remember. Though this is a tiny device you're playing. It's basically a game that demanded the ultimate gaming machine. Years ago, right? It's just as easy as that. Mike's gonna send the, uh, and, and when you think of a, 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 an application like Marathon, which I would love to have, on was awesome about we went um, through the uh, numbers the pretty quickly. Is done for yeah. Are they shaking up the format? Or are we gonna go they back? They did to not the do numbers? iPod numbers, but do anything. if you think about it, iPod <laughs> numbers would sensibly come before it makes an iPod announcement. You can right. see the character details. They led with iOS 4, which is interesting. Yeah. Captured animation techniques. You see. Of course, what we want to hear is availability and whether it'll be on the iPad. These games on an iPad would be considerably more interesting. Yeah, every image they've shown so far, I notice, is an iPhone, iPhone, iPhone. By swiping directionally across the screen. So my interface I don't see any reason why it wouldn't go on an iPad. Oh, I guess the resolution. Resolution or rendering? Yep. Yeah. Could be well, you could, you could double it, but it, it just wouldn't look nearly as good. Uh, well, the iPhone, the iPhone, actually, the new iPhone has almost the same resolution. I mean, it's close to the same resolution as the iPad. But everything that double pixels. I'm saying it doesn't need to double pixel if it's, if it's on the iPad. 
Now, oh, I see what you're saying. It'd be easy enough to make an iPad version. Mode, yeah. like you're watching breaking news coverage of Apple's September 2010 event. So far, we've only heard about iOS 4 and how great the Apple Paris store is doing. We thank our friends. I'm sure there's big news to come, though. We thank our friends at Slingbox for making this coverage possible. Anytime you come across a breaking news item in tech, go to twitlive.tv to follow the story and uh, get to the latest from the tech experts in the know. And don't forget to use Slingbox to watch your favorite TV shows when you're away from home. To learn more, check out Slingbox at a Best Buy near you or slingbox.com. All right. Steve is back. That was the demo of SWORD, Project SWORD. So... We're, we're Ready we're next week for iPhone, iPod, iPod Touch for free. Take this technology and put it in the hands of Getting that off of a live blog. Who's live blogging this? Uh, Eric Og over at CNET. You're, you're so loyal. That yeah, was the one that worked. Let me see what GDGT is doing. you got to wonder how this is going to impact uh, live blogs, streams like ours, with Apple doing it themselves. Wouldn't you want to get it from the source and watch the video? And I think you want both. You want Well, this is faster. Sneak peek at iOS 4.2 coming a little later this year. 20 seconds. Yeah. So those are just uh, You do both. I would do both. I would have a live yes. blog open. 4.1 and it's going to be available next week. Available next week. It's for iPhone. So it looks like about 2 minutes. Touch, 2 minute delta. And it's going to be a free download via iTunes. iPhone and iPod Touch only. So you don't have to pay for it on iPod Touch. Free download, but he didn't say I iPad. Surprise no. for you today. Okay, here's the surprise. Uh, a sneak peek. Here comes 4.2. iOS release. 4.2. Okay, sneak peek of 4.2. 4.2 is going to come a little later this year. They're having a hard time and coming out with the iPad update. It's all about Interesting. IPad. Oh, 4.2 is iPad. Okay. It's bringing everything to iPad. Bringing everything, everything. to iPad. Everything. So what we've just talked about all be available on iPad on 4.2. FaceTime. HDR photos on iPad. Now, Meaning of life. What does that mean? Is there going to be a camera? How do you do an wireless HDR photo? Printing. Wi-Fi printing, printing, that's huge. Yes. That's big, big printing. Needed that badly. And we're adding something really cool called AirPlay, which we'll talk about a little later today. Aha, uh -huh. something so new called do, AirPlay. Uh, a little feel for uh, printing. What is AirPlay? Uh, that sounds so like really streaming really music. We only have a little time to parse this rumor. AirPlay, what could air... Yeah, it's not a rumor now. Steve said it. I wonder if it's like AirFoil. We see AirPlay. We push print. It's some kind of streaming. Airfoil, which is uh, that uh, pushing it from your computer and stuff. Push it to computer. But you can do that now, can't you? Yeah, no. with an app. Now, with an app. Yeah. Again, select a printer for the front office. In fact, so we're going ahead and we're Airplay equals AirTunes is the same thing, you think? Down below, if we bring Almost. up the multi Am I going to ever get a cup of coffee? You right behind you. see that it's put oh. print center Because right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting sleepy here. I hate to say it, but uh, this, this isn't exactly compelling yet. That was magic. <laughs> it's right behind me. You know, they haven't said magical yet. That's true. Or He's amazing. saving it. He's saving magical for later. Now, what is AirPlay? Well, you know what AirTunes is. It's yeah, it's streaming AirTunes. Music AirPlay is AirTunes. To an airport it's supposed to be streaming video. So Air Video is the name of the app. From... That's not from device. Apple, of course. Well, we're changing the name of AirTunes to AirPlay. AirTunes' okay. name is so being changed to AirPlay. Anymore. It's not going to do gonna music stream anymore. Audio, but streaming but audio, video but also video and photos over Wi-Fi. That was poorly stated. Devices. When he said it's not going to do music anymore. So, well, it is, well, it is, is music. but not just music. It would not be limited he to music. He left out just, yeah. Usually he doesn't make those mistakes. So this will be for iPad 4.2. Makes iPad really a great content consumption device. You stream from your Mac and your other mm -hmm. media. Let me go ahead and. Uh, He's now demoing. It means you can have a central server and, and be able to watch anything you want from all the different devices right. that you have. Right. And, uh, I've got and multitasking, so Pandora can play while you answer your email. And mm -hmm. are there third-party AirTunes uh, servers? I, I would guess it's just a standard iTunes like, server. Because I have an Here's iTunes what, server on my Drobo, for instance. What would be interesting Drobo to you know is does this does this uh, push? How does this affect Slingbox? You know, like. Uh, it's over Wi-Fi, but yeah, but it's not over. Yeah. Is it? O is it over the entire internet? We haven't told us yet. That's yeah. the, that's what Slingbox does, of right. course. And I'm sure AirTunes will not. For uh, it's two different things. It's your yeah. videos on your computer versus your cable television. I know this would be a big deal for us in our house because we have you know being able to have a central this, server. I, and I, I use Air Video all the time, so yeah. right. I don't know if I would stop, but if I hadn't discovered it yet, this right. would be huge. Right. And having it built into the OS probably is an advantage. Air Video will support all. Formats. Aha. Right. Airplay. This will not, I'm will sure. Not. Yeah. Very, very simple. Also, folders coming to iPad. So let me show you. He hasn't got to that on our stream now. yet. But. Multitasking. Um, let's go ahead and make a folder with our news apps. 
So I can just... Uh, you would expect that, though, since we already have it in iPhone 4. Put NPR on top of Wall oh, look, he's got uh, a flipboard or whatever that. Right here, yeah. which I could rename if I want to. And I'll go ahead and put the financial time. And he, this will all be out in November, which is kind of what they said and I can even for the iPad I mean, was later this year. when they came out. Yeah. And a little disappointing that 4.2 is not out. Uh, it right will be a free update also, but that's good news. So you've got you've got gadget live blog on. Yeah, GDGT is faster. He's faster than Erica, and he's putting up pictures. And, uh, Erica's got pictures too. <laughs> and uh, and uh, Ryan is saying Apple's Wi-Fi just went out, switching back. It's coming out in November. Four two in November. Free update for iPads. A free update. That's a big deal. For iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch. So there's quite a bit of latency on Apple's um, stream, as good as as it is. It's it's feeling like it's maybe as much as 30 seconds later. That's pretty typical. Yeah. Especially for high quality. Yeah. I mean, a lot of it is that is that is that post processing that you do before you put it up on the stream to make sure it looks good and it's as small as it can be. Right. It's going to take you just a little extra time. Right. We're really really happy with iOS. As Zombie J points out in our chat room, no applause. Audience confidence dropping. Now I'd like to get on to iPods. All right. He's calling the iPods the entree. I don't think we're going to see iTV. I don't think so either. Where we 275 we million iPods sold. That's a remarkable. You add that to the 120 iOS devices. Possibility of uh, Apple TV announcement just dropped to 31%. Yeah. <laughs> the, what are they saying on the uh, London bookies? Uh, the odds are going way down now. Big applause for that uh, 275 million iPods okay. sold. That's one for every why, why? person in the U.S. Why do you, play, yeah. why do you yeah. applaud that? Well, a journalist wouldn't. No, but there's other people the in the audience, of course. A lot of, you know, they stock these audiences, especially in the front rows with Apple employees, who are, of course, very happy. They get a little, they get a little buzzed and applause now. Now, uh, just my two cents in the chat room points out, don't forget one more thing. Yes. I don't think we get I, I would say less than 31% at this point odds for ITV. I think there's no chance at all. I'm say 42%. V we might get a service. A, well, a well, when, no, wait a I mean, he we already say, have that. He did say entree. Maybe there will be a dessert. Right. Well, that's actually what Just My Two Cents said. He said, don't forget dessert. It's yeah. really exciting. It's the biggest change in the iPod lineup ever. Wow. All new so, designs for every model. Let's start off. Interesting. Some of them are trying to That it would include the shuffle. This was our first generation shuffle. And they're starting with it's the shuffle. The concept that so the shuffle's a wonderful way to alive your music. and being and we could make a redone. really affordable player without it. I really had fun destroying that shuffle. shuffle. Well, they do an iPod Slowly. Pico. Super easy to use, and it's been a really yeah, they have one that's just the headphones. The one that you, you just put one head right in your ear. Even yeah. better. It was dramatically smaller. It smaller than a grain of rice. It ring buttons on it that was really easy to use. The third generation, we took off the buttons added voiceover. I hate so buttons. We took off the buttons in the third generation. <laughs> so what do you need buttons The new for? generation just doesn't even it. have a body. Hey, you know what? This coffee is very good. It's just a yeah, constant. Just people clearly miss the buttons. <laughs> just want to say, good coffee. <laughs> if you ever want coffee made right, ask Jammer B. Jammer B, who does not drink coffee, makes the best coffee in the house. Those who cannot do, teach. So what are we going to do? Thank you, Yoda. <laughs> the new iPod Shuffle. It's even smaller than the second generation. Even smaller. They put buttons, the buttons back on. Voiceover buttons are back playlists. on. Voiceover playlists. And it's really I think they needed to put the buttons back on. I think that yeah. they probably in their in their market research said you buttons, know, buttons. Buttons. Yeah. People without people need. Okay, here's your buttons. He's tired of being mocked for hating right. buttons. He's like, uh -huh. I don't hate buttons. Of course, it's got the clip, so it's instantly it's wearable. A clip. And it's really nice. Just clip it on and go. That's great. What's it look like? I, I can't see. Features. It looks like, it looks like yeah. the, the, the second generation. Yeah. A little smaller. They went back in design. No. It's, 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 it's like the old one. Yeah. To change its volume it's just a little smaller. You should have made the iPod mm. um, it's got playlists. tie pin. Or so tie. You can ask it, to speak the playlists it has. It always had playlists, like didn't it? Third I mean, I'm not always, but it, did, it already had playlists. I don't know. Did it, didn't it? I think it, I think it did on the, on the third generation, but yeah. it didn't have buttons. Genius so this is like bringing these all together. We had buttons, and we took away. And it's got genius mixes now. Yeah, all right. Genius. Do you use a genius? Uh, no. And it had voiceover before as well. These are no, but it had, but it didn't have the buttons. It had. The, it had <laughs> These are all features that now come with buttons. It's now, yeah, yeah, now everything, everything with the but plus buttons, and it'll last forever, fifteen hours. Oh look, it's kind of, it's got a forty-nine dollars for two gigs. That's a great price. And in in uh, colors, huh? Five colors: blue, pink, green, and I'll still only get yellow. I think that's silver. Teal. Mauve. Oh, sorry. Lime, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm a guy. Sorbet. <laughs> Sorbet. <laughs> and pea. It's green. Pea color. Pea color. <laughs> Comes in urine color. That is the new iPod Shuffle. 
We're just getting started. <laughs> They're just getting started, folks, so settle in. Let's look. The What's the recap now? We've got iOS 4.1. iOS 4.1. 4.2 4 4 1. 4 coming out in November. Both free. 4.2's for iPad. 4, when's 4.1 coming? 4.1's coming next week. Next, next week. week. Also next for free. We took it to extruded aluminum. And then we've got, uh, we've got t TV so rentals go, coming in 4.1, but we don't know anything else about that. Even so he's talking about all the generations the now of the generation, Nano. Even taller screen. 4.1 will not be available on the iPad, just the iOS, iPad uh, just now they're gonna get rid of the buttons. and iPod Touch. What can we do? Yeah, no well, buttons. We'd like to make it smaller. They're smaller? Gonna make it so no buttons. This is where we're, I think we're going to see what we well, smaller, was leaked with the case. One way to do Square that. case. And that's to eliminate the click wheel. Eliminating the click wheel, this is what we heard. This is what we need to do, is get rid of buttons. Which is to make it touch-based. Oh my gosh, it's got a screen. Yep. It it's a touch-based screen. That was the rumor. Wow. That's what we've done. Was that the rumor? Boy, yeah, that's yeah. great. The all screen front that's and a square touch. form factor. That's, that's exactly right. Amazing. That that leak was 100% right. You know what? That's a product. That's, that's cool. A, that is very beautiful. That's pretty exciting. So it's the same size as very the uh, shuffle? So you can hold or is it, it in your, just in your hand. He like says it's very tiny. I think, it's just, I think there's a lot of people are going to... This is essentially why they went the shuffle so backwards, small. because this right. is We're now the shuffle, right. honestly. Yeah, there's no no, no so more It's now. basically, it looks like about the, almost the same shuffle factor. I mean, same as the same form Wait a minute. It's, it's got multi-touch. This is the iPod it's Touch. It's multi-touch. To the Shuffle's iPod Classic. Is that mind-boggling? Multi-touch on something that small? How big well, is that you, screen? Once you have, I mean, it's, it's a, the multi-touch is just whatever size you make it. I mean, yeah. FM radio. Nike Plus, of course. It's got a clip, so no more armbands. It's clipped. No more armbands. So you put this in your, uh, you clip it into your underwear. Why is 46% smaller good? 42% lighter. So you know it's for, this is for sporty people, well, you Tom, know the, people who get exercise. Do you know why the mm, FM is important? Why is FM important? Because when you go to the gym and they have the, the screen the TV, there, you need to be able to turn. Yeah. No, no, that, that's the reason the FM, because yeah. I use the Zoom. Not, not yeah. a lot of gyms do that. 24-hour fitness. Place. I know they do. And so, I, I like, uh, I like <laughs> that. That's a big gym. It may not be a lot of them. More and more gyms have your own personal TV. High-end ones that you With your own headphones. High-end ones that you go to. Yeah, you have one TV. Radio. <laughs> so there'll be apps. Podcasts. Thank you. He mentioned podcasts. I like it when he says that. Albums, composers, genres. I think this is a great product. I wonder if it's an OLED uh, screen or an LCD screen. This is what it's like when you scroll through it. You can get these nice big letters to find out, you know, where you are. That's what it Apple is a user interface challenge, but this is where Apple really excels. And and if I were uh, if I were Apple, I would I would focus on design. I would say, look, we do UI better than anybody. Look at this. It's a clock. It's got a clock face. This is your new wristwatch. How long before somebody makes a wristband for this? This is your wristwatch. It's got to be out there already. It's your wristwatch. You just have one of those little cases we saw with a band. Let me show you how it works. Let me show you. All right, they're going to sell. They're going to sell 100 million of these in the first year. This is huge. Well, this is the revolution of the non-iPod Touch yeah. iPod by making it an iPod Touch. It's the iPod Touch Nano. Because now they're going to be able to exactly say that there's all these... Now, if it had a front-facing camera... <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> then it's a Dick Tracy clock. Uh, I mean... Uh, I know, it been awesome. Why doesn't it have 3G? <laughs> Spy on everybody with it. No, this is, this is, this is a, quite a product. A computer now, with a clock. He hasn't announced pricing, but it, if it's 49 for the Nano... Uh, 159? 149? I'd say 100. I didn't well, say 99. You've got to do 99. It's 99. I think it's going to be huge. You do 99, you got a product. The, the last Nano was 149, wasn't it? Yeah. So, well, look, you know, $49 for the shuffle. I think it might be 149, 129, something in that. Depends how much that screen is. Now, does this have the app store or just the apps that come with it? I can't imagine putting an app store in it. And again, I can swipe right. How do you design the interface? It's you swipes. Well, you just do it on, on iTunes. This you is your, this your, is your new wristwatch. Yeah. Swatch so just went out of business. To navigate around. Uh, let me show you some of the other screens here. So we've got, of course you will again, radio, slightly geeky. podcasts, and photos. Oh, it's got podcasts. Photos has its own it's button. Yeah. All the other stuff I've got here. So let me say I want to, uh, I listen to albums a lot, and I want that on the home page. I can just put This is down, very 21st century. Yeah. 129? Like my other iOS device. I think 129. So now I have albums on the... Uh, I think you're right. I'm going to go 99 just to be different. Uh, I think 99 is very tempting, but I think... It's tempting, but it's Apple doesn't do that. It's a question of can you do it. Yeah, and I don't, Apple doesn't usually lowball it. 129. I think it's 129. You know, 149 is a little too high. Play a song. 
Real easy to do. Fun Crunch is surprised I like this. I think this is pretty impressive. You know, the clock face is what kind of blows me yeah. away. Thank you. And the FM radio? Uh, well, and it seems silly, right? Ah, it's a computer with a okay, clock, whatever. But it see. looks, if you take a look at it on video, it just looks well, clean. Yeah. And it looks like something that was, uh, we haven't seen go before. Home again. Let's go to the home screen. Let's say I clip this on and I clip it on upside down. Well, I just take my two It has an accelerometer in it. Oh, oh no, no, it doesn't. You have to manually uh, rotate it. It does, it does not. Rotate. That, that's, I'm sure that's a price issue. Yeah, you know, yeah. like you, oh, yeah, you start yeah. adding all those things. Yeah. Maybe the last thing I'd like to do is just uh, show you some photos on this. Turn it up. And, turn it upside uh, down, Steve. Let's go to. I love uh, the f uh, the fact that it could be a little photo frame. The other fantastic. other way around, Steve. I live a lot of my life upside down. Uh -huh. I live a lot of my life upside down. Like sure you do. Really nice yeah. As well. When has he been upside down? Just flip between them here. Not since so I don't know. Seventies. <laughs> since he got married. <laughs> That's a big product. That's a huge. I think this could be really the most significant announcement here. Well, we'll mm -hmm. see what happens with the touch. Well, they definitely Let's rejuvenated the, the Nano. 149 and 8 gigabits, 179 and 16 gigabits. So you were right, Alex, the 149 price point. That's what they had before. They're not they're just saying we're not changing it, we're adding, we're making it cooler for the same price. Okay, now he's moving on to the iPod Touch. What was the Shuffle price? Shuffle was $49. Okay. It's pretty I mean, there is no oxygen for two in this gigs. market. Still amazed yeah. Left. Hold yeah. This much music in your hand. He owns this. Small. Yeah, they own this market. It, it's That's a, this is an amazing, I think this is a very this impressive is product. the new iPod Nano. Sells for $149 in the 8 gig version. Yeah, our, our stream is way behind. Version. Well, I think this is, uh, you know, Apple's probably got a 30, 30 second latency in its uh, video. Okay, iPod so Touch is up now. A new Nano. That leaves Which the is the most popular Touch. iPod. The iPod Touch is Swatch, by the way, still alive. For us. At $149, and Swatch is yeah, yeah. still alive. <laughs> the most popular iPod. iPod Touch, the most popular the iPod. Nano, the and the number one portable game player, player in the world. So there's a shot over Sony's now. Absolutely. Bow. And you know, a lot of people call it an iPhone without the phone. It's also an iPhone without Gotta the add contract. FaceTime. Gotta add... <laughs> uh, not that he's bitter. Without the contract. But he said this is the iPod, without the iPhone contract. without the phone and without the contract. <laughs> 1.5 billion sold. It's amazing. No, no, what's that? We're Downloads. <laughs> billion sold. In my in his dreams. Awesome. 1.5 like billion McDonald's. served. Yeah, yeah, that's McDonald's numbers. The iPod Touch outsells Nintendo and Sony. Yeah, portable iPod outsells combined. Nintendo and Sony combined. Uh, the this is what my friend is at one of the game yes. companies was talking about. Is, yeah. the, these are yeah. taking over. That's why you see so many games on this platform. Yeah. And, and as you start seeing stuff like the Unreal Engine, you know, moving yeah, yeah. to these things. So this is going to, obviously, gigahertz, they're going to have to, uh, gigahertz processor, they're going to they're going to be putting A4 in this sucker, obviously, because they need that graphics rendering. I think our one more thing is going to be a music service of some sort. Yeah, I don't think you're going to see ITV. No, I don't think you're either. Just to the iPod Touch alone, over a billion and a half games and entertainment titles. Retina display coming so, to iPhone 4. what are we going to do with this really successful We're going to make it an Touch. iPhone, except without the contract. Well, we're going to make it even better. Well, we're going to... He almost said exactly that, this Alex. This is the new <laughs> iPod Touch. The new iPod it's Touch. even thinner. Even thinner? Let me go back again. That's the current one that's really thin. And there's a camera. This is the new one. There is it's a camera. more beautiful. So, obviously, FaceTime. Well, maybe not. You'd have to have Here's two cameras top, to do FaceTime. It's got one on the front. Bottom with the same 30 pin you can see it in the pictures. Jack, okay. speaker oh, port. sorry, you can't see it in the pictures, can you? <laughs> I can't. But even more remarkable What's going on with your Mac Mini? is what we've put inside it. Hey, John, can you start the, the Mac new Mini? iPod Touch has our amazing Retina display. Retina display, very good. Same thing we pioneered with the Not iPhone. a surprise, but, but yeah. that's that exactly what you want. Pixels. You know, 326 PPI, 24-bit color, LED. It is the A4. It has the gyroscope. We would assume this. iOS 4.1 with Game Center. FaceTime with front-facing camera. It's everything uh, one would expect. It is basically an iPhone without the contract. It is now in the iPod Touch. The Apple A4 chip, the same chip that powers the iPhone. Three-axis gyro for even better gaming iOS 4.1 with HD Center. video recording on the rear camera, yeah, 40 have. hours of battery. I want one of these. Yeah. That's nice. If, if you don't want that. I don't use the iPhone. This would be a perfect so you, Yeah, because you, your phone is not an iPhone. Right. You'd I want, use it as an this. iPod Touch. And uh, maybe this, this could jumpstart FaceTime. This is what they need for FaceTime to work.
It also means probably the next iPad will have a front-facing camera as well. Both cameras. Yeah. I think it's just going to have, have both. Their, their That's going to be the standard now. Mm -hmm. You can do the little editing movies. Yep. And then HDR makes sense in an iPad. Yeah. The question is when iPad 2? So probably not until next year at this point. Yeah, why do you need HDR in the uh, in the iPad? Is it to show your photos? The it just comes with it. It's, it's built in just because you've got it in 4.2. Unless so. they come back to talk about the iPad again you can and say, well, here's the new one. Right on the phone. You can trim them. You can upload them. Over Prices, 8 gigabytes, 229. You can buy 32 gigabytes, 299. 64 gigabytes, $400. So, so $400. Right on <laughs> Important 64 in there, are you? you can do well, I mean, I just... And I just face when time, I walk face in, time, I always go in thinking one. I'm going to get the bottom one, and then I look at it and I go, "Well, I this, don't, I don't, because the store is down, I have to think this is available now. Something's got to be available now, right? I have to think this is available now. So all of this now on an iPod Touch. Wow, we that's really a, that's think a, that's amazing. <laughs> I think they've got a compelling product line here. Well, the iPod models, Touch is definitely the the leading model for product in its category you know, right now. Zune HD is so. Here's the product line. Though. You've got it the uh, iPod yeah. Shuffle, which is only slightly smaller than the new Nano with a screen. The Nano and Shuffle really are almost the same. And the iPod Touch. Those are those are that is a pretty good lineup. He says for the holidays. Available next week. Pre-order now. That's why the store is down. Available next week. Pre-order now. Next week. And, they're available for and now it's today. time for an ad. <laughs> so he's going to run one of the ads. Oh, we're going to hear about iAds ads next. next week. No, no, he's going to. You know how they always do this. Oh, this Here's is our oh, ads sorry. for the nanos and shuffles. And it should be touches. an i ad. Boy, I wish we could rebroadcast the ad at least. Why can't we rebroadcast the ad? I bet you, you can find it on the Apple. It's store. all about the source. Go to go to apple.com. I bet you it's there now. Uh, I'm just going to play the audio of the ad. They're plotting right. Now. Depends on where you get the audio. No, he's still talking. I have to turn off the audio. Wouldn't be Apple without some new ads. So I've got some ads uh, that I'd love to show you if you want to see. He's, he looks very pleased with himself. He likes the ads. Did you see I, that? Look Did at you this. See that look video at this. Of him that is just shorts? a hell of a product. Yeah. That is a Dick Tracy freaking product. This is the ad. So it's just going to be music. The audio. Yeah, but it's a way for us to play commercial music uh, without paying a license fee. <laughs> no, I'm going to stop it. All right. <laughs> This is cake. I love cake. It's a great ad, too. I love too. cake. I love what they're doing. This, well, they're, mov they're moving so the great. nano around on its clip around different hipster clothing. But, <laughs> no, it's different people. I'm so they're glad. transitioning I'm from one person to another. I'm just happy are, about cake getting the I, I just thought the, the transitions ad. were really good. Good transition. Good they edited it on an iPhone for you. Yeah, yeah. Right. iPod Touch ad. Who's this? Come on, DJ Tom Merritt. Yeah, I don't know this one. <laughs> chat room. I was going to wait for the chat room to catch up. Chuck theme? What? The theme from Chuck? No, it isn't. No, is it? Not. No, I hope not. Oh, look at Steve's oh, dancing. <laughs> Rock and roll, Steve. Diggy, diggy, doo, doo, doo. Now we're going to talk iTunes. All right, so is this the one more thing? I think uh, no, I think this is TV ain't happening. So you'll be seeing those soon. So, the strongest lineup of new iPods we've ever had, and we are really excited uh, when people get their hands on them starting next week. So that's the new iPods. Now, as you know, iPods are part of a great. Now we get stats on iTunes. With iTunes, and. ITunes this is, is where we get the TV rentals announcement. Remarkable. You know, they? He alluded to earlier. People have downloaded so here's some stats. 11.7 11 billion, billion songs, songs 450 million TV episodes, 100 million movies, 35 million books. That's kind of a surprise. 160 million accounts with one click. And, of course, that's the kind of pitch that you yeah. give Rupert Murdoch. we got 160 one million people just, here who just me. buy it with one click. You know? million books. That, that, that one click kills me. It's very expensive. It's very expensive, yeah. No update to the iPod Classic, even though he said updates on Didn't all even models. mention the Classic. Yeah. Classic's gone. I don't know if they're going to get rid of it. It's just, as I said, it, it serves one so use. For high people with capacity. big, yeah. High capacity, big drive. Yeah. iTunes getting a new logo. They're ditching the CD. Today, we're really excited 
to launch the next major version of iTunes. Oh, they are going to iTunes 10. So this is a, this is a lot of people wanted to do this. Uh, people now, really been complaining about iTunes. This being is the venerable logo. The venerable logo, he called it. Well, wait a minute. So it's and, uh, it's it's a CD, it which is wrong, right. and a music thing, which is wrong, right? Because right. like, uh, it does so much more. So they've got to get rid of the logo and replace it with with a music symbol. In the U.S. <laughs> Note. Uh, we thought maybe it's time to ditch the CD and the logo. And, uh, he says, maybe so it's time to ditch the, the CD logo. The logo. You know what? <laughs> Steve Jobs has just declared the CD dead. Yeah, yeah kind of did, didn't he? Yeah. What's new? Well, there's a few. I have to admit, I bought one. I bought a CD a couple months ago, and I thought, what there's nowhere. Doing? You know what? There, I, I, the only place you can buy a CD in Petaluma now is like Target or. Uh, I mean, you can't. There's no record stores in Petaluma anymore. Amazon. 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 You know, I mean, and the plastic no. is so annoying. I think the CD is. I think the CD is pretty dead. I like it as a handy backup, but if I have a choice, I'm going to buy digital. Yeah, I just back everything up on a couple drives. There are occasionally bands that I, you can't get. So they're consolidating. They've got a hybrid view that consolidates songs from an album. Same amount of space and show you album artwork in it. And so if you don't have, if you have... So you know, instead five of... Songs, it doesn't do that because it doesn't take up the space to do it. Uh, but if you so if you have five or more songs in an album, instead no of showing you the album name five so or more really times, nice it'll just put the album art there instead. That's this nifty. Is um, <laughs> this is not what people are talking about. Cover flow this is basically the audiobook layout. That's right, uh, first pointing out. This is how store. audiobooks look. Now, one of the biggest... Uh, things we focus on with iTunes is discovery. Social network for music uh, called Ping. <laughs> Facebook and Twitter meet iTunes, iTunes, also known as Zoom. <laughs> uh, we Welcome to, to the social, things, Steve Jobs. But, um, you know, people are always asking, Ping. what are my friends listening to? What is <laughs> Ping? Uh, what are my favorite artists? What are my friends listening to, Steve says? You know, what, what are they listening what are their to their Zooms? Really great. I want to tell my friends all Discovery about. is an issue in a, yeah, in a, really in a record store. I mean, you do it for people that you like. It'll be interesting yeah. to see how they do it. You know, there must be a Integrated with Facebook or and so, and iTunes, they go their own way. don't need to. We're announcing something really cool. Ping. And we call ping. it Ping. Boy, if I'm Ping FM, I'm a little and upset. What Follow friends is, and artists, see what music they're talking about, music. listening it's to, and like download. Built into iTunes. Twitter. Meet iTunes. Twitter, meet iTunes, he's no, calling it's us. it's not Facebook, it's not Twitter. It's, it's not Facebook, it's not Twitter, it's something it's else, he says. Network what about ping.fm? Uh, That's right, they're in trouble. And it's built right in to iTunes. Apple doesn't really so care about people's no, trademarks. No, they don't. Discovered, they they just know. figure they can, we'll they can buy check. that later. Yeah. We've got not. $48 billion, we can write you a $100 million check, we won't even notice. They never arrange it ahead of time, almost. They do, almost always do, do it you guys? It's like Ice FM, it's like Scrabble. Do you guys yeah. live in iTunes? Mostly, yeah. I do. Okay, so this is made for somebody who lives in iTunes, obviously. All your recent activity in your post. Look at that. It <laughs> looks just like Twitter or, you know, it's, 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 it's Last Here's FM. It's, it is Last FM. It's Scrubble. Custom chart of songs and albums to see the top right things here. the people you follow are downloading. You find people by just typing in their names and if, if they've registered for ping. And they by the way, Lady Gaga posted two photos you can sign up right in there with, uh, with normal words. people, Lady Gaga. And so. Jennifer, or I'm, I'm sorry, Stephanie, 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 Stephanie Germanata. Stephanie Germanata. Songs and albums. Hmm, Ping.fm hmm. has got to be just, very interesting. Boy, that's really, yeah. To what only the people you it's follow just, are down it's Well, and Ping is owned by, um, so somebody chart. bought them, just bought them. Who bought them? Of all the stuff <laughs> the people like, you I want my money back. Are downloading from iTunes. Just this is, is this Lala? I guess it's, it could it could be Lala. It's got a, it's probably Lala Lady contributed, for sure. Here's her recent post. Here's Lady Gaga's artist page. Here's her favorite songs. So they're and here's the concert she's going to be performing at. So they're <laughs> Jinx, oh you a coke. Uh, so they're they're really uh, essentially uh, going to invite both real people and artists. This is huge for an artist. Again, disintermediating the record labels. I mean, this is a really big thing for the artists. By the way, there will not be any flash in Ping. Here's recent posts. Oh, the Apple stream is uh, is uh, a little, is little flaky now. There, yeah. yep. And uh, we're seeing that in the chat room, too. Somebody to just got fired, said someone in the chat room. The <laughs> well, you figure this is probably the peak of, uh, of people viewing. Yeah. Right. So it's that simple. Everyone's caught up. Everyone's in. News. Everyone's interested. And again, most of us will live in our feed right here. And all of that information... Most of us will live in our feed. And I think that's the key on something like this. Is right It makes sense if you live in so iTunes like Tom does. Ping is a social... Um, but I already use Last.fm. Why would I switch to this? Right. Well, because it's, well, it's not maybe, maybe you. You're a little bit more tech-aware. I think most people who have iTunes don't have Last.fm. Right. Yeah. 
artists, most artists. I love about all my data's in last like that. Say, right. Can I import it? Probably not. No. As we saw with just one click. Good job. You can hold your hand up if you want to and say anybody can follow me. If you want to approve every anybody one of your followers, you can, can set up a circle you. of friends. Or so, you know, you can say it, it's, people can follow it's me, made for artists to be able to control who can follow them and who, who they follow, but it's taken a lot of cues so from Twitter. Just, yeah, you can get as public or private as you want. So privacy well, me, is key on that. That's interesting. Buddies, we're all going to agree to let each other follow each other, but that's it. And we've now got a circle of friends, and whenever any one of us hears a great song, we're going to post it. I think this is a, this is smart. Uh, but my question is, it seems a little bit following. It's, for yeah, Apple, if you're already living in F Last FM or Twitter or yeah. any num you know, well, number, you know, number though, because this is music. FM. So I think, well, well, there's yeah. Blip FM. There's a lot of. But good I think music that when we look at. Super simple to set up. Well, it's MacBreak Weekly is coming up. So yeah, I know. <laughs> I just got the notes. You know, I, I think though that the, the issue is is that the. Uh, uh, with 160 million people, I think only a fraction of them are using Last FM and, and so on and so forth. They're looking at the mass, right? Social music discovery, follow and be followed, circle of friends, post your thoughts and opinions. Boy, it makes me want to listen to music more. 160 million potential people yeah, huge, right? to use pain. To over 160 we'll certainly sign up for it to try it out. Yeah. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Well, and the thing is, is if, if, it, if it happens, I mean, that, that non... Uh, portability of the of uh, the, the process, I think, also means that as people get tied into it, they'll get really tied into it. Yeah, you know, like they, you know, the, the, the iTunes becomes much because right now, like all I use iTunes for is to sync my i my iPhone and my iPad. No web analog. What about being able to like just go to the web? In the Why you 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 know? I mean that is that yeah, but that's a break. Again, Apple's I, been doing I want to be able to see and this on my phone, my on my yeah. tablet. And, yeah. Well, I bet you they're going to set that up so that you can do it on your iPhone and on your on your on your iPad. But they're not going to. You know, the reason that iTunes is as good as it is is that it's not on the web. <laughs> I mean, because you know, you don't suppose so. Yeah. You don't have to Although deal with all those formats because of that. I mean, the bloated size-wise. No, no, yeah. no, absolutely. But it, it works as well and as it so does, and, example, and the and the Jack experience Johnson's is as good as it is because it's a net application, not a web application. Click yeah. Like this. They noted in the uh, slide about it over seventeen thousand concert listings. Yeah. So uh, I mean, this is this is you know this is one step away from Apple saying we're going to start selling, uh, we're going to start letting artists sell everything directly through iTunes. Cool photos. I mean, this is allowing the artists to basically build up their following um, and not need the record labels anymore. That's a good point. I mean, this is sort of for iTunes listeners, but kind of mostly for artists. Yeah. And, uh, for you, I mean, this for is you a, to follow artists and for artists to Eddie have a crowd. Has, uh, You're talking, we're you know we're talking about now a, a and, I mean this is a, this I creates could, an inc uh, incredible vertical market in the music industry. He's he's uh, he's hanging out at Jack Johnson's page, by the way. And I can just buy it if I want to. And I can just buy it, buy it if I want to, <laughs> which I want to, because it's so easy. <laughs> and, uh, and one click. All the songs on that album, if I want to listen to any one of them, I want. So it's 10.47 in San Francisco right now. He's been on stage for exactly 47 minutes. They start right on time. You know, now, what I really think that they ought to do with this is, is if, if it's on your page, if they did some kind of Amazon associate type thing, if it's on your page and people are buying it from your page. They'll never do that. They won't, but if they did, it would be a... So Katie be a Cotton is a rap, is, is a rap or a, a fan. That's interesting. <laughs> Katie Cotton is Apple PR. Uh, Lady Gaga is going to have a video here. If you're so not seeing it already, here's, saying uh, hello Lady to her Gaga, new friends. Who I'm following and her little monster friends. Again, I can, you can post videos, photos, you can post videos and photos into it. If I look up Stephanie Boy, you know, Germanotto, would a, I find her? This is a stealth Facebook. Wow. i got to tell you, this is very interesting for Apple. It could be an entree into a larger social wow. network. Why doesn't it connect to Facebook? Because they don't. Because they don't. Apple doesn't that's, connect to Twitter. That's precisely the Why point. Why doesn't it connect to Twitter? Precisely the point. Because what they know is they've got 160 million people that if they all start using this and start precisely using the social the point. network and using iTunes as an that interface. a creepy video. I have a feeling that uh, so this, is, this has some more and, uh, uh, significance you know, that we're really assigning to it. Here. Yeah. Uh, I could see all the concerts. If it takes off. Me. If it takes uh, off. It's good. Yeah. That's why they're not going to say that light now. The fire. Right. Yeah. And, and wait and see. Wait and see. Steve Jobs is going to the Tegan and Sarah concert on Friday. No. By the way. Is he? Yeah, it says so in his profile. And, uh, Somehow I doubt that. Waz, you know, this is why Waz is here, by the way. Waz is a huge music fan. And it kind of makes sense for Waz to be here for this, to be and honest. This is, and he represent your friends, right? Yeah. Yeah. There he is, Steve Jobs.
He likes classical, rock, and singer-songwriters. I'm going to see him go to Tegan and Sarah. I can imagine how many people are going to follow Steve on on this. This is the only place that he is. You know, you know that that's what's that's part of what the draw is. That's why he's showing it. And the one thing about you, I could say about Steve Jobs is he will update this himself. Yeah, he will. He will. Oh, he's not gonna. No, no. Come on. You don't think so? This is. There's no way there's a Steve Jobs, real Steve Jobs account on here. I think so. You think so? Yeah. Circle of friends or my family. I mean, he's not because this is how you jump start parent, the, but he'll do this. And yeah. that the same this way he control. answers his email. Yeah. Hmm. All about music. I think they put all the artists Makes on sense. here. This is that what happens is the artists won't be answering it themselves. Yeah. You you want the artists on here because if that's that's each well, Lady Gaga has five million Twitter followers, right? right? If she's on here, five million instantly on iTunes, and many of them may be iTunes new iTunes users. I think this is uh, very sensible. Ping is on your iPhone and iPod Touch. Oh, this is huge. Yeah. Make your life even more fun. And this iTunes is very interesting. 10 available today. I think this is very interesting. You'll I think get Ping today. Ping yeah. is not just available on your computer. So there's a new iTunes app. It's available on your iPhone. Imagine all, I mean, I know that what I'm going to do is when I open up my Ping account and I get it all set up, I'm going to Twitter that I have an, I have a Ping account. Yeah. And here it is. And, right and you know, yeah. I think a lot of us are going to do that. There's a new button right in the middle is called Ping. Is there room, and this is where I would be very critical of it, for something that doesn't interoperate so there's no rss feed there's no way to port it into twitter or vice versa and of course steve's not going to allow that so this is going to be the classic walled garden well, this is going to be as walled as anything more more so than facebook more so if, than twitter if i had more followers on ping than oh, twitter one more thing one more hobby okay we are getting itv we are getting itv remember he named the apple tv yeah. a hobby so we are going to see an apple uh, an apple tv update here this is huge why do they do that why this do they is call a, it a hobby why did, I mean, why did they push that it's no so pressure. funny because he knows everybody said it was a hobby here uh, we i was wrong we are getting an apple tv update this is what we're doing with itunes now listen carefully I think it's going to be pretty hot. We're going to let we're going to let people hear just this. So, iOS. I'll wait. I'll wait a little iPods, bit. Yeah. This is this is fantastic. I'm very excited. Yeah. I'm very excited. And I think they had to do this well, now. This is this is when you put the one more thing. you've got to put the stake in the sand. Actually, it's one more hobby. <laughs> uh, this is this is this is where you put the this is where you put the stake in the sand because Google's doing it. Yep. Every other company's doing it. You've got to so, do this now. Of course, we're talking about Apple TV. You know the. Now, the ping mixed with the Apple TV, Apple TV is a big deal, too. Four years so that's where you right? run the application all the time. Oh, man. If you tie this into your TV, TV so yeah. the Emmy Awards, you're and now on ping. Yeah. This, is, this is a but very... Are you watching live TV or you're watching... Yeah. yeah. This yeah? is a very stealthy... That, yeah. Yes. This is a very stealthy entree into the Facebook world. Non-interoperable, which I think is bad. But uh, but how lot. Apple would do it, right? Mm -hmm. so it's just a hobby. Yeah, this is just a hobby. Can I upgrade my current Apple this is, TV? This no, is really interesting. This is Apple well, saying to Google, Twitter, and Facebook, is, we're in it to win it. We're, yeah. we're here to play. That's very interesting. Is they want Hollywood movies, Hollywood and movies TV and TV they shows. They don't want a computer on their TV. They don't want crotch shots Wide from YouTube. TVs are they for don't want They want Hollywood movies. They want Hollywood movies and TV shows. They don't want amateur hour. They don't want a computer on their TV. It's a hard one for people in the computer industry to understand. That's people true. also don't want to manage storage. That's true. They're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. This this is so the compelling product, and so this, this is why. Is going to be a stream. Last week, when Andy, you and I talked about this, Alex. Mm -hmm. We said this is where Apple has a huge opportunity because they get it. They know it's not a computer. Can you get live streams on it? Computer on their TV. Like I don't know, Twitter TV. They go to their. It'll be 720p is the only negative, right? They want lower no, prices. Another computer. I mean, remember, a DVD is 480p, so it's, it's still better than a DVD. Really oh, 720p is fine. I think it is fine, yeah. Understand. It's true HD. It's for most people. I mean, there's going to be people in our they audience screaming at you right now yeah. because they yeah. want it. You know what? They have Blu-ray players. That's like audio file, video yeah. file. But it really is audio file. But 720 looks pretty darn sharp on a, on even, a, even a big screen. Yeah. I mean, I'm watching my Roku box on my 60s. What are you going to do? They huh. don't want to have to People sync to a computer. Yeah. He's yeah, pushing, this is, this he's is Lala. pushing streaming. This is Lala. This is Lala with video. It's small, silent, and cool, and small. This is a computer. quarter of the size. Most of them figured out this what is what we is. were thinking, I think. They want to pull some content off says, their computer. They don't want a computer. Most of them even don't know what that is.
I just want to be able to put the new software on my old Apple TV and not have to buy a new one. Second generation of Apple TV, and this is what it looks like. And uh, Ryan Block on GDGT is saying, damn, that's small. So small black. It's a fourth of the size. size. Palm size. Wow. Quite a bit different than a lot okay, this is what we thought it would be. Think. No power brick. Well, and there's no power brick in the right current Apple wrong, TV. There's no power brick in your iPhone us. either. I mean, you don't really yeah. need yeah. a power brick and for so something. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is small. This is small. This is the current Apple TV. This is smaller than we even we imagined it. Generation yeah. of Apple That's a puck. It's about the size of a hockey and squared, rounded, like. rounded uh, edged hockey puck. That is a that's smaller than a Roku. Palm of your hand, much smaller than a Roku. It's the size of the HDMI switcher I have. Yeah, yeah. Well, basically, what is it? It's an iPhone it's yeah. a without a screen. Size. Yeah. It's, it, there's no reason for it that's to be any pretty much all of it. It's an iPhone. HDMI connector, Ethernet, and Wi-Fi. Look at this. Oh, this is fantastic. This I'm in line for. No component. Or, yeah. Okay, okay. I, I think this is Apple. Oh, Very HDMI. interesting. Apple's really bidding to own this market. Com component totally. closes without component. It all depends on what kind of content you can get on it. Well, it also closes the analog hole. Plug in a power cord. You plug in a power cord. Optical audio, HDMI, USB for additional storage. What's the USB for? A camera. For FaceTime. Mm, FaceTime. FaceTime. Has its own remote, all HD content. Everything is rental only. No purchases on Apple TV from now on. I don't like that. That's that's bad. You know, I'm fine with that because I don't buy anything anymore. I just like ah, I just need to watch it. I don't want to. But I remember, consider it a rental, but I get to keep it. it. They're going to miss a bet if they don't put Netflix on this. If they don't put if they don't put apps on this, they're missing yeah. a huge bet. Yeah, no, I agree. And they they may not because they want to control the market. They well, now want to I make don't the want money. It's about well, music. TV Let's see, though. That may be from Apple only. There may be a Hulu on it. There may be a Netflix on it. You can stream content from your computer, but that means I have to go to my computer if I want to buy. I oh, see. I, I think rental is a big mistake. I think this is a, you rent everything. You rent the, the, the everything. The real, the only question that see nobody. Won't, I haven't bought a movie on anything for a long problem. time. That's that's all I say about that. Anymore. I mean, I just stopped buying. Got, they've got you to put apps. On I just this bought five dead. seasons of The Wire. Okay, well, that I can the now rewatch right, right. at so any time. I mean, there's very or few things I'll do that, but something like that, I'll sink in. You got a Netflix account. You, you're yeah. paying Netflix. Right. That should be on here. If that's not on here, right. big big mistake. You stream content. They've got to have apps. Photos, but there's sometimes videos, there's things that you just can't music. get any other way. There's I mean, nobody no has everything. Required. That's, that's right. It's, it's fine for them to sell to or rent stuff, stuff from iTunes right but as an adjunct. And when you stream photos in, first run HD movies for five else. bucks oh, available oh, to rent. This is uh, on demand. If this is just an on demand play that competes with Comcast, and not impressive. It's silent, right. cool, and tiny. First run. So what about content? iTunes has the largest online library. TV shows are rentals for 99 bucks. Boxy. The world. The largest library. Mig says Boxy 1.0 will be on it. That's world. big. So you can rent first Is that run true? HD movies or are you for just 4.99. Wonder, hoping. The day and day. 4.99 for first run movies. 99 cents for HD TV shows. ABC and Fox signed they up. Did get so they got Rupert. They got Rupert. And they get even cheaper as time goes on. But well, and that's better than they movies, when they first started DVD, selling TV shows right. when they only had NBC. So the the, the, the four ninety nine is for first run, two ninety nine right. for the for the next run. It's pretty good. No, no, it's it's got to have apps. Yeah, it's too much. Doesn't so have apps. HD TV and how do we control it? We're going to use the magic track. He hasn't talked about that. He just said it came with a remote. Comes with a remote. Yeah, that's all it says. You know with what? your Apple TV, you can run it you from your iPhone. You can stream Netflix to the device if you're already a customer. All right, that's that's remember, it. That's these key. These are commercial free as well, which and is nice. Now, this is a big step for some of the studios to make, and not so now it's a Roku competitor to me right. because it has yeah. Netflix and, and the ability to have ABC and Fox rentals. Really should have that. We think the rest of the studios will see the light and get on board pretty fast. With this. Google, Google's so basically going to make an Android device. That's what they're going to compete Watch with. anything on YouTube, photos from Flickr, and Mobile Me. All right. In addition, already had all, most of that. It just has to be iOS. It just, why not just make it iOS? Well, it probably is. First run well, I mean, it should be just... TV yeah, yeah. Because Apple out. wants to control also, the revenue. Netflix subscriber, well, they get revenue out of their they iOS, get revenue right? if you're buying, Streaming if you're buying content from Netflix. So they got Netflix. That's that's key. Uh, That's a key. Now my Roku's done. <laughs> well, Roku does some other stuff, including us. Yeah, I have a lot more apps. Stream for free if you're a Netflix subscriber. You can also watch anything you want on YouTube, including all the HD See, stuff. See, you know what they're doing? This is really another excited. Apple TV, which is not what you I was hoping for. I really wanted a full iOS device. And you can get video and photos. This is just another Apple TV. No app again, menu. 
on uh, nope. the pictures. No nope. movies, TV shows, internet. In fact, the pictures look pretty much like the current Music Apple TV. Yeah. Yeah. Very popular. I think this is a mistake. And videos. So this it's is a hobby. UI it's looks. just a hobby. It's really simple. Movies, TV shows. He's really sticking with the original. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just yeah. it is oh, really topics. literally an update to Apple TV, as opposed to what we had hoped for, which is a well. New, now I yeah. don't want the operating system upgrade because I still want the ability to buy a, a, a TV show directly from Go my ahead. Apple TV. Right. Literally single click, you're renting it, and you can see a synopsis. Well, they can, they can take that out of the story. Yeah. Rotten Tomato users. ratings right on the screen. Uh, you also That's can interesting. get user ratings, and you can see the tomato meter up there for the first time. <laughs> She's and out of my league. Only has a 54% tomato now, reading. We go by that rating. I, oh yeah, it, it serves uh, you. Don't, if you don't know something because it's crowdsourced. And you can get detail on the actors, what other films they've been in, etc. The director. I'm not. I, I'm a little disappointed to be honest. Reviews from Rotten Tomatoes. It's so just a hobby. I like the set your expectations. He tried to without Amazon, uh, which right. Roku has, without... Uh, I just think that it's really great. FaceTime and iOS would have made this thing just everybody has one. I agree. Again, it's kind of surprise. So like all these interface elements are exactly what the Apple TV has the now. Cents, you've read Apple, the act, it's a, I would say, lacking a little courage on this. And you can mm -hmm. start watching these things generally within seconds of renting them. It, 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 I think it would take some, so that's some guts. Shows. Here's the Netflix. On the internet, full full inter watch, interface to Netflix, Netflix and an Apple style. Films from their streaming I actually library. like the Roku interface YouTube, too in Netflix. That's fine. Mm -hmm. of podcasts, but, but to say YouTube, video, big deal. I have to admit, I have a lot. I have like 200 content, and some things in my in my Netflix uh, yeah. instant account. Plenty. And the Roku is painful. Yeah, with that you many. don't like it. Okay. It's just uh, well, you got too many things in your. See, I don't yeah, add things yeah, yeah. in my like queue that. anymore because the Roku lets you just you can do that instant instant right. play it from anywhere. So I don't put things in the queue. I just play what I want. Stream is 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 shaky now. So much for HTTP streaming. So give you. Of course, every device has Netflix. Right. Lots of stuff. Even your Blu-ray player. There's nothing revolutionary here. Uh, put Hulu in there. TVs yeah. have it now. Put put apps. That's all you have to do. And I, just make the and apps. And I, I, I'm a little disappointed. Yeah. And I have to say, this is giving Google an opening because Google yeah. will absolutely support apps. Now yeah. he's doing the demo. And if I'm Hulu, I'm developing an Android app right now. You know? And uh, you can see... Uh, Slide shows you can get on. Yeah, it's, it's breaking more up. Fun when they're your own pictures. Slide shows. I mean, that was an Apple TV Gen 1. Right. But really nice slides. And I could pull slideshows uh, on my Roku ahead. from Flickr, Smug Mug, uh, Picasa, from mm -hmm. everywhere, as opposed oh, to just yeah. my desktop right. down the hall. Internet. In fact, it, it's really a great feature. I, I've uploaded uh, plenty of albums to Smug Mug, well, and now I can do slideshows right, right off the slot Smug Mug on my Roku. It's, it's actually a great feature. And this is I could already I've, rent movies on my old Apple TV, too. Amazon. Really not, other than adding Netflix, not much new here. This is a little bit of a disappointment. Other than, the, and the form factor. Stream is dying completely. Preview, of course. I see all the films that other people rent. Roll down here if I want to, and. And of course, one thing that I do like is that is that I can, you know, if I had a media server, I can stream it. You know, like with the Airstream or whatever, I can have it all accessed. Yeah. Look at Ryan Block uh, cheering in his uh, live blog. Come on, Steve, don't blow this thing. Still nothing on apps. So, right. I rent this. You're so close. You're so close. Stay on target. To rent it, here go. Iron Man. Just Who a cares? scratch across the surface. And within a. Yeah, I think Ryan is uh, echoing our sentiments, which yeah. is there's yeah. an opportunity here, uh, and you have a, but one shot, I think. Uh, unless he feels shot, that Google's going to gonna started. blow it. Yeah, which they could. Um, and really, what's the reason I think it was an opportunity is because everybody's going to do it. Apple could set the standards. Mm -hmm. Apple could jump into this market very, with two feet. And jumping in with one foot is not going to do it, I, I don't think. There's Although, just... I have to admit, they, they, this is what they do constantly. They always give us a little bit less than what we expected. Well, look at Ping. It's not Facebook. It's not Twitter. And they don't say it's Facebook and Twitter. They're going to wait and see. Well, but... And when they released the iPhone, there was no apps. Yeah. Have some... There was yeah, like, here's right. what we gave you. And then we right. all complained that there's no apps. And then they said, okay, here's the apps. Uh, Roku's breathing, breathing a sigh of relief right now. BoxyBox is breathing a sigh of relief right yeah. now. Uh, Google is jumping up and down right now. Yeah. Uh, Logitech, which will make a box for the uh, Google mm -hmm. TV. Sony, even. Uh, Sony. 
I mean, this is a near miss for all of them. Samsung, this, it would have all been of them. the end of them. I think so. I think they, 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 they were holding their breath for this. Well, and I think that's why he calls it a hobby. Over all my jokes earlier, I mean, mm-hmm. I think Steve knows this isn't our killer device here. But we're it could continuing be. to iterate. Do you think they wanted to but couldn't? That there were issues with... Um, Maybe the interface, like how you interface with it. Licensing. Licensing. To get the 99-cent rentals, they probably had to forego Hulu. Maybe. Maybe. Because, you know, Rupert's not going to do a deal with them. If he's got Hulu. Yeah. There's no incentive for Rupert to do a deal at all. And they also don't want Hulu to be too successful. That's one of the weird things about the company's backing it. Right. They want it to be just successful enough to drive people right. back to television. Right. So uh, if your stream just went to audio, that's part... One of the features of Apple's HTTPS or HTTP streaming is that it, it senses your bandwidth and will give you just what you can do. Right. Although in this case, it might not be you. It might be... It might be them. Them. That's it. That's it. So one hour, almost exactly. It's 11.04 Pacific time in San Francisco. Wait, and what are they doing? They're doing some sort of glee. Oh, it's yeah. the glee folks coming on stage. Wow. Is that the cast? No, the I, cast? I wish I were there. Because I, that's I really like that you show. You and Eileen will get along just fine. I love that show. I thought the Emmy Award opening was the best oh, thing I've ever seen. Oh, he was just playing seen. it. I thought, okay, oh. I got fooled. <laughs> I was pwned. Boy, you know, uh, Apple hit a single, double, triple, had a chance for a home run. It turned out to be a foul. And they fouled out. <laughs> now they he's showing off out. Netflix. It's not over. My mistake. We'll see. Maybe, they, maybe it's still out there. Maybe it's still out there waiting for us. Oh, and maybe version 1.1 1. 1 has apps. For free on the Netflix subscriber. I guess we can assume, though, that, that it is we're the Apple this. way of doing this things, right? Yeah. the best implementation of Netflix, too. He says it's the best implementation of Netflix. <laughs> you know, Steve, if you don't have Amazon, you don't have Twit, you don't have Revision 3, you know, Roku's uh, uh, channel store is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Channel store is the closest Roku can come to apps. And if Steve doesn't do apps, they're still beating They're still ahead. If he does ahead. apps, they're behind. And, uh, yep. All it took was apps. So I can say, great, let me... Uh, I don't do think they... Here. It's not that they don't know that. Australian yeah. I think it has to do with navigating these waters Again, you, of the video industry, the mm-hmm. movie and TV. Why are we I mean, back to photo slideshows again? Really? Yeah, that does, that's not a compelling... Uh... It's like, geez, I've been able to do that on my <clears throat> laptop. This is an AirPlay uh, demo. They're AirTunes rebranding. Uh, this will be on the iPad. But again, I could get a slideshow. If they'd only put Flash in the iPad, I could get slideshows from Flickr and Smug Mug and everywhere else. Right. AirPlay coming in November. You can stream content from any iOS device to Apple TV. Yeah. It's nifty. Well, now, wait a minute. That's a backdoor to apps. It's also a remote control. So wait a minute. Now, that's interesting. So well, if I can pull up Hulu on my iPhone. Stream content. But content. does that mean files or I think it's, I think it's the content. Stuff I have yeah. on there, not. Yeah, probably. Something yeah. Else that's really cool. Something else really cool, says Steve. We talked about AirPlay before. Yeah, yeah. this is that. Mm-hmm. More AirPlay crap. AirPlay's coming in Watching a movie on an iPad, a button will come up, ask you where you want to stream it to. You can pick Apple TV is, and stream instantly switches to that device. That's, that is kind of nice. It's, that was my big complaint where I couldn't hook it to the TV very right. easily. And right. so being able to just say, oh, I want to Is that it DLNA down. they're using or they're using, uh, they're using their own probably? Yeah, their own stuff, I'm sure. Some bonjour thing or something. My video player. And I got one of my favorite movies here, Up. He's watching up. He's a big a fan Pixar of Pixar. I would like to point out that, is that? that you can see his screen because he's got that special little connector that they won't give us. <laughs> now, <when I> <laughs> Not that I'm jail. bitter. Yeah, exactly. It's jailbroken. I'm bitter because I didn't get an invitation to this event. You're bitter because you don't know how to get video out of the iPad. I know how to get it out, and just not without jailbreaking. Yeah. I can decide where to go ahead and stream it to, and I'll say the family room Apple TV, which is this one. This is meaningless so unless... It's not uh, really a remote. It's just... Picking up where you right. left off. So if I was doing this with the wire, and how good is that going to look? Come that would have been that would have been nice. So content on iTunes will be in six countries, more countries later this year. I guess if you download iPad today on uh, your iPad, you will be able to then watch it on your Apple TV. I sure, guess that's good. I guess. New price is 99 bucks. Yeah. Well, that's important. See a slideshow on your Apple TV. It's fine. A lot of people will buy this. At that price, it's uh, you you know, know, Apple, that's the right Apple's price. Doing, Apple's doing their, the incremental thing. Will it replace the Roku, which is now less than 99? Uh, if, I, if, I, if I didn't already have a Roku, this would be a gimme, I think. 
for me. Yeah. It will replace the Roku because it's Apple, not right. because it's yeah. a better product. Right. Uh, people don't know US the and Canada. Out there. You know, they didn't mention that, that all the social stuff from iTunes 10 was on this, which I think is a big thing that would be you'd want to have. That's, that was an opportunity again. Is yeah. ping on here? Doesn't look like it. Available in four weeks. You could pre-order it now. Again, $99. There's only one unit because there's no storage. You can, for the same price, you can get the Roku HDXR. So. HDXR having the uh, Wi-Fi G and or G. Not you say it was G and N a combo cent rental for just G. A ninety-nine cent rental for TV. If you watch two shows a night, is sixty bucks a month. It really that's cable price. Yeah. I know that's what I'm saying. It's kind of like it's not that compelling. And well, I've no, got no, no, on demand, saying, but I'm saying I'd rather just get rid of cable and just download the show. Maybe yeah. pay them because I'm not going to watch that two many. shows a night. I don't watch two shows a night. Later this month, in about four weeks, and you can pre-order today. So that is boy, the Angry Birds on this would have been great. So here mm. we are. Uh, my, you know, that was the vision: was mm -hmm. you use the Magic Trackpad, you'd have the sit-back experience. You've got an iOS device with apps on your TV screen. You play Angry Birds, or you or you watch Hulu, or you watch Netflix. That's a real opportunity, and it stuns me. Managed that they didn't evolution. Do that. They could guess. easily, yeah, I'm sure that's the case. But uh, they could have easily done yeah. that. And why they didn't is is uh, a real question. Probably because they didn't need to. They know that they'll sell a lot of them at ninety nine dollars. The way they have it. Yes, Stephen. We had one more thing, Stephen, in the chat room. That was it. Apple TV is the one more thing. Yeah, that was dessert. Disappointing dessert. Mm. I was expecting it to be more chocolatey. Steve says Ping is going to be really popular very fast. Yeah, he's right. And he's right. <laughs> they'll have they'll have uh, 50 million users tomorrow or yeah, whenever it sure launches. Yeah, but they, uh, yeah. they won't get to 160 million because that's it be the full Google universe. Buzz where you get a bunch of users right away and then everyone bails because it doesn't work? I don't or know will, if it, will buzz, it be great bail. compelling I think, and people stick I around? I think it's a closed universe. It's a walled yeah. garden, and so you will and get those And a lot of Apple people. users are pretty comfortable with that. They love the walled garden. Sorry. Also between iPhones and iPod touches. But you got to think, if I'm a Facebook and Twitter user, which a lot of people are, especially Facebook, and it doesn't interoperate, where am I going to put my stuff? You know, am I going to have two places? I don't think people well, want two places. I, I know. For, I think it depends on how many how many people are using what. Because I know that you know, if I had more followers on Ping than I had on on Twitter, I'd probably just go. Eh, I think I'm just going. I'd probably post to both, maybe, but I'd probably spend more time on on Ping. I think a, a walled garden is a mistake. I think that I, I understand Apple. Uh, that's how they do things. I think interoperability with other social networks would have made it much more palatable for a lot of people. Donald Bell from CNET just posted in their coverage, Ping, it's like Facebook, but with your credit card info. <laughs> Ooh, and you put it that way. <laughs> Not so exciting. Very good point. So you had an opportunity. All you have to do is say, uh, post my likes to Facebook. And I think that this is a really good example of, the, of Apple's kind of paranoiac at, at, at attitude towards open and towards uh, other networks. They want to own it all. I understand why. I think in, the lo in this world, it's, it's a bit of a mistake. The problem is that they keep on succeeding at that model. <laughs> well, yeah, that they model make enough money to make it work while, worthwhile, yeah. More than, I mean, yeah. You're watching breaking coverage of Apple's 2010 September event, the iPod announcements, new iPods, new Apple TV, and iOS 4.1 with a preview of 4.2 to come. We thank our friends at Slingbox for making this coverage possible. All our breaking news is brought to you by Slingbox. Use Slingbox to watch your favorite TV shows when you're away from home. It's still better than Apple TV, I gotta say. Yep, yep. Uh, to learn more, check out Slingbox at a Best Buy near you or at slingbox.com slash twit. Coldplay is going to come on and finish off. The Coldplay? A Coldplay. <laughs> I'm assuming it's the Coldplay. Tony Coldplay? And whenever we have our music events... So, no La La. We like to remind ourselves... Uh, no... Uh, sort of. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. I, I don't think not. I don't think they're no, streaming right. music, so there's yeah. no La La. Uh, the, uh, uh, the rumors were right. I think the most compelling thing here is this new iPod Nano. I think that's a that's a pretty exciting the new, device. The new, the new iPod and new touch touches is good. will certainly help FaceTime. And if you're in the market for an iPod Touch, it's a big improvement. I think they they didn't close the circle. I think yeah. they needed to close the circle with an iTV uh, that ran apps. Then you have an amazing lineup. Yeah. And a real opportunity for Apple. It's an opportunity missed. And I think while Ping will be interesting, it will never, because it's not interoperable, because it's a walled garden, it will never get the, uh, the network effect that something like uh, something tied to Facebook could. I think, it, I think part of that depends on how much Apple... Apple has proven itself to, be, to court a lot of stars, you know, up, up front. 
So if, if Apple really courts a lot of these music artists, they have a vested, the music artists have a vested interest in bringing people into pain. Absolutely. Lady Gaga so, loves this. Right. So, but so, what you'll get is a hardcore fan group. But if you're following Lady Gaga on Twitter or on Facebook, I guess you might follow her on iTunes because that's where the music is, right? right? But do you think Lady Gaga gives up YouTube, iTunes, uh, Facebook, and Twitter? Absolutely not. Oh, but it's just, no reason. But, but she'll she do this needs, one too. Yeah. yeah, she does it all. Yeah. She has one of her. People. She's got a team. By the way, it's not Coldplay. It's just Chris Martin from Coldplay. <laughs> and he's going to sing "Never Gonna Give You Up." Uh, <laughs> it's pretty exciting. <laughs> one guy. This is probably the toughest closing gig I've ever had. I wish the rest of the band were here. Jeez. It's like when they had Kanye on. And, uh, well, it's like they could only get ABC and Fox. Right. They could only get Chris Martin. <laughs> Dan Wally says, Chris Martin graciously accepted a ton of money to be here today. <laughs> Our invitation and a very large check. Until you feel like lunch. All right, now I am, by the way, uh, it looks like I'm receiving the update notice from Apple Update for, nope, no iTunes, just curious. All right, he's playing the piano. The event's over. 9.2.1 is the current version. Liar. <laughs> I know it's not. Steve Jobs just told me it wasn't. <laughs> so uh, I probably, let's see, can you go to iTunes, uh, apple.com slash iTunes and get the latest version? Let's see. Nope, still iTunes 9 on, uh, on uh, Apple.com. So we still lies, got lies, lies, lies. Why, why do they do that? Why don't they have it ready right there? E is it just a, good not, question. A, not that important? Store is down, apparently. So let's go see the Apple store and just see. I mean, I but know it's just a logistical gonna, all of this challenge. Stuff, yeah, all of this that, stuff but. is pre-order. Um, so let's, uh, let's recap. Let's run through it. The event is over. Um, well, at least it's over for anybody who doesn't like Chris Martin. And... Uh, uh, what did Apple announce, Mr. Alex Lindsay? You've been taking notes throughout this entire event. Mental notes. <laughs> yeah. I've been taking notes if you, if you want. Have you? I got it written You've been down. typing yeah. it out? All right, go. iOS 4.1, uh, TV rentals coming. Uh, it, it, the, the update's coming next week. You get HDR photos, games, and game center. Uh, iPad gets uh, for iOS 4.2 in November, including HDR photos iPod Shuffle, buttons are back, 50 bucks for the 2 gig version. iPod Nano becomes pretty much the iPod Touch small. It's a multi-touch square, $149 for the 4 gigabyte, $179 for the 8 gigabyte. iPod Touch uh, becomes an iPhone 4, retina display, front-facing camera, three models, 8 gig for 229, 32 gig for 299, 64 gig for 399. That's available next week. Uh, iTunes 10, new social network called Ping is the big thing there and that's available sometime today and the one more thing was an apple tv that's a quarter size of the old apple tv it's small black and palm sized like my coffee <laughs> uh it's rental only uh, first run hd movies for five bucks others for three bucks tv show rentals for 99 cents from abc and fox and they add netflix to the already existing youtube and Flickr accounts so things that didn't happen that we oh, might price, have, sorry price of the Apple TV is ninety nine bucks ninety nine bucks things that didn't happen that we might have thought was happening uh, streaming music from Lala uh, a uh, an iOS based Apple TV uh, didn't happen um, uh, no front facing camera on the Nano I was rooting for that yeah the camera went away from the Nano the Nano had a camera now it doesn't yeah. did it have a, oh, I, yeah, I think it did, that's it fine did. I I think that what they the the iPod line now is I think a pretty compelling line yeah. especially that Nano with a screen on it and a touch screen. And, uh, and if you want an uh, iPod Touch, I think you're going to get the new iPod Touch. It's a pretty compelling it's fantastic product. Ping, a, a kind of a surprise, out of nowhere. Nobody expected a social network from uh, Apple. It's interesting that, you know, that I think that some of these social networks, when you look at some of, uh, uh, whether it's Chatter from Salesforce, that's kind of a Facebook and, and uh, you know, that is aimed at the business clients and Apple is obviously aiming it at music clients. And, you know, the, that, that market is starting to become a little bit more crowded. Yeah. And segmented. I, and uh, we, we uh, didn't mention Steve Jobs will be seeing Tegan and Sarah. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. I forgot. That <laughs> was big we, news. We now know that. Um, you know, it's a mixed bag. I mean, there's some very exciting stuff here. I think that, that Nano is very exciting. Uh, Ping could be potentially good. I'm disappointed that it's not interoperable. It's not open. You know, I, I think that it's typical. It's a typical Apple event where we, where we built up a lot of excitement and we didn't get, what, you know, we didn't get everything we wanted. 
Right. And uh, and we may still get it some sometime in the future. Right. Um, you know, but you, you, it's always a mixed bag. I don't they, think I ever watch an Apple one. No Wi-Fi like, syncing. Uh, kind of a surprise there. There's a lot of... It's interesting. Apple really da it marches the beat of its own drummer. It doesn't watch the market as closely as, as we might, right. looking at what other people are doing and mm -hmm. trying to match them. You know, there's still no subscription service. There's no Wi-Fi syncing, both of which Microsoft offers on its Zoom. Mm -hmm. Um uh, they, they don't seem to be really responding particularly to Google, except with that uh, little shot against uh, Android in the 200,000 versus 230,000 activations that Apple's uh, getting. So in, in many ways, Apple, uh, you know, it's, it's, they, they march to their own, uh, their own drummer, and that's always been that and, way. And, and, and over the last decade, they've been pretty good at it. So that's, that's the thing is they don't necessarily need to march to anyone else's drummer. I think that's, right. that's their argument. Right. And we didn't find out the uh, fate of the iPod Classic. It wasn't announced didn't mention it, it didn't, wasn't at, mentioned all. at all. Is it still around just like it used to be, like you were saying, Alex? Or, or are they actually going to kill not. it? I we hope it know. is. It's, it's actually a really, until they get the storage units to 128 or 160 or whatever, I think it's, it's still a very viable uh, and useful uh, storage, storage device. I, I think really uh, some of what I take away from this is that these are preludes to things that could be bigger. Ping could end up being a Facebook challenger. Uh, or even a Twitter challenger, certainly a blip. I don't think they challenger. need to challenge head to head. I think that it's just another another outlet. Yeah, you know? iTunes 10 is now up on the web. It's not showing up an update from within the app. I, know, I didn't see it. it on. I've been I've been refreshing the website. It may be that it's rolling out uh, bit piece by, by bit, piece. You know? Yeah. Um, I, I think also I or Apple TV could be um, a first generation product that. You know, well, it's we on iTunes know. 10, but when I clicked download, it gave me the option to download yeah. 9 to 1. Yeah. This so is, it's not quite this is, there. Uh, <laughs> so we're not exactly. Well, and I have to admit, you know, with the ITV, if, if it had, with this, I'm like, oh, I'll wait and see and see how it turns out. I don't feel any need to go out and buy it immediately. I'll I don't buy either. Because I have to cover it. But, I, but uh, I'll probably get one. But, the, but like, if, if, it had, if it had the apps, yeah. I would have bought one for every brother and sister, parents, right. everything, you know, to make sure. Because I, I knew that that was the Christmas gift for the fall. Um, and now not so much. I'll think about it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you have to wonder why Apple, uh, is this a case of, and there's a Roku box, by the way. Tom's got it. Got his yeah, Roku box. Ken, Ken brought this It's in. pretty small. I mean, it's not much bigger than the hockey puck sized. It has some advantages. I mean, it's got all the it's podcasting. It's got component. It's got the other stuff. Component is important for some people because not only does mm -hmm. component allow you to connect to your older TVs, it also creates the analog hole. It even has composite. And composite, but what that what the component means, whether it's composite or component, um, it means that if you plug this into a you know USB recorder, um, you can record anything off your Roku. Oh, am I allowed to say that? Why do you have a uh, USB recorder just right there? That was great. You know, it, it just turned out I was showing it to Ken, and I and I just happened to have a USB recorder uh, sitting right here. So you know, these two connected. Um, this is yeah. the Blackmagic uh, video recorder. Uh, you can get now. This one only does SD, but they have an SD, HD one. Elgato has an HD one that has component in. Um, and uh, you'll be able you you're able to all those shows that you like in Roku if you want to keep them, you know, locally for whatever yeah. reason. There's no reason to on Netflix because you can always just go back up and watch them. But uh, if you want to take them with you or whatever, you can you can just uh, record it with the HDMI only with the Apple TV. The one thing is is that HDMI means they close that hole. HDMI is is managed is rights managed. Right. So um, you know you have to do a little bit more work. You know, and Apple uh, videos are rights managed. Yeah. So they, you know, those two together. Yeah. But with an analog out, which I believe the Apple TV had, you could still record from your Apple TV um, pretty seamlessly uh, in in component mode, which isn't as high as the, but pretty darn close. You know, the component at 720p is not is very difficult to see the difference between the two. So, um, so that is another uh, consideration between the Roku and the and the Apple TV, I think. Yeah, and you have to have an HDMI in on your. On your television too, which I not, think most a lot, when a you're, lot of Apple when you're using. targeting a broad audience, yeah. though, mm -hmm. not every person's going to have that. And yeah. frankly, the functionality of the Roku is really what, what it's, it's what, higher. What, what really sends me. I mean, I can <laughs> the fact that we're on the Roku box, we're not on the Apple. Well, and box. And, they, and basically, the new Apple TV is cutting us all out. Yeah, podcasters. If you're not, if you're not a big, absolutely, big I player. didn't see a pod. Now we have to look, but I did not no, see. No, a he said no more amateur hour. There was a link. Oh, is there? So we, there we, is a we, podcast okay, link okay. in the current Apple TV. In the current TV Apple TV, there is. So I don't know and, why uh, he would get away. And, get and Ken's saying it. he saw in the screenshot, he saw a link. So, oh, that's so okay. yeah. let's hope so. Okay. Um, you know, Cole, at, uh, Chris Martin's playing a second song. Oh, if you need everyone's cheering. Yeah. He said he would if they made him. There's a movies, TV shows, internet, computers, and settings in the menu that uh, they show on the gadget blog. 
So if it's under internet. Yeah, I think it's under internet. You can download Epic's Unreal Engine uh, demo on the iTunes Store if you are um, if you are using iPhone or uh, iPod Touch. And the Apple Store is back. So let me let me take a look at that. Where does it say that? It was Netflix YouTube podcast okay, under cool. internet? Oh, good. All right. We didn't we didn't see that. That's a relief. Yeah. He hasn't he hasn't aced us out yet. Not that he doesn't want to. He's always mocked, you know. He uh, he he mocked. I mean, I, I only remember this because I, I am a podcaster. But he he mocked the uh, podcasts um, early on. He, right. He really thought podcasts. I think somebody within Apple promotes podcasts, but Steve Jobs is not a believer. So the story is back up. There's the new iPod Shuffle. There's the new Nano. There's the iPod Touch. Um, iPod Touch from two twenty nine. That's the eight gigabyte with FaceTime Retina. Classic still in the store. HD video recording, Game right, Center. Classic is still in the store. That's interesting. For the holdouts. Just unmentioned. Just not on, not on the front. Definitely worth, if you're listening, it's definitely worth having one. You know, I mean, if you if you want to just have some place and you have a big library, digitizing everything. I digitized everything in like 256, like all my entire library, and just pushed it all into there. And now I don't have to think about it. Looks like uh, there uh, is a product red version uh, of mm. the new iPod Nano. That's the... Uh, Bono project that raises money to uh, fight AIDS in Africa. Eight gigs, one hundred forty-nine dollars. Sixteen gigs, one hundred seventy-nine dollars. We're going to get ready for. Uh, we're a little running a little late. We're going to get ready for Mac Break Weekly. Tom, if you'd like to stick around, please do. But I know you have to get ready for uh, your show, so yeah. it's up to you. I want to thank everybody for joining us for our special live breaking news coverage of Apple's September twenty ten event: new iPod touches, nanos, and shuffles. Some pretty impressive products and prices there. Uh, iPhone OS 4.1 with a preview of iPhone OS 4.2. Um, and, uh, of course, a new Apple TV, which uh, had some nice features, but mostly uh, mostly what we expected, which is essentially streaming. Uh, same user interface as before, very similar. And 99-cent television shows and movies from $2.99 to $4.99. Uh, we thank you for joining us, and uh, if you are watching live, please stay tuned. Mac Break Weekly is coming up next. You can watch our Twit specials, uh, break, including breaking news specials, on a, a special feed, twit.tv slash specials. This one will go up there uh, in just a few minutes. Thanks for joining us. For uh, Alex Lindsay, thank you for being here. My pleasure. Tom Merritt, thank you for being here. Of course. We want to thank, by the way, Slingbox uh, for uh, making this all possible. Do, don't forget to go to slingbox.com slash twit. And it looks like Slingbox still <laughs> is the way to watch TV on the Internet. Nothing to compete with Slingbox from Apple today. I'm Leo Laporte, and we'll see you next time on uh, the breaking news coverage, if there is any, if any, anything else ever happens. I thought you were going to say another specials is in the can. Another special is in the can.